to the sea of eyes. Oh shit alert, Louis clothes, calling when it's sisters, Louis Vuittons and Gucci shows. Well, I guess that goes my yeah, Louis yeah, shows. More oh yeah, shit, back. if your role models a movie, bro. Back in the studio. Heading out to Atlanta next weekend. I had the week off last week. So it's going to be quite the break. I'll try to get it more consistent in November, December. Try? Yeah, try. If it's not try. Try ish. Try ish. Try ish. Uh, is it is it okay. uh, yeah, if you just add ish to anything, it's just, it's it acceptable. Just, yeah, it's acceptable because people just know you're going to at least make the attempt. And that's all that matters as long as you make the attempt. You ain't even got to execute, just no. attempt to. Um, but anyway, um, I can't even hear myself, so you can't hear yourself. No, I can't hear myself. Turn, did you turn your headphones up? There I go. Oh, ah, shit. turn those shits up. Technology. Uh, <laughs> um, all right, let's get right into it. Uh, episode 140, 10 away. Um, this is the Sneaker Boss podcast with Sneaker Bar Detroit, a part of the Crepe Tech family. What is the point of spending all that money on your shoes if you're not going to keep them clean long enough to get your money's worth? Practice safe stunting. Go to crepetech.com and get your shoes some protection. Um, in case you didn't know, I am your host, the African Caesar. All Is hail Caesar, emperor of Rome, monarch of the <laughs> Roman Empire, ruler of the world. Hail Caesar! Hail Caesar! Hail Caesar! I got distracted for a second. Jumpman has this black toe phone charger, I'm guessing. Yes, sir. <laughs> So your phone plugs up into the shoe nah, and it charges. I'm Go Go Gadget man. Man, that is ridiculous. Man, you can put sneakers on. Shout out to Stephanie Joe Brady. Okay. So you can just make sneaker related anything though. Yeah, you know her on Instagram. Stephanie, Stephanie Joe. Joe Brady. That sounds familiar. Yeah. That's her name on there, or yeah. does she go by something else? Okay. Yeah. Because for whatever reason, a picture of Jackie is like popping up in my head. She's out of um, Nebraska. Stephanie Joe. That sounds about right. Nebraska. Yeah. That's cool. What happened? This feed is like all blue on my on live. Oh, is it? Yeah. Uh-oh. Um, I bump it. We'll just go black. Cool. I ain't about to worry about it. Yeah, I know. The theater of the mind, that's all. <laughs> um, and so anyway, get back to introducing everybody. Uh, Jumpman Bostick is back in yeah. the building. Yes, sir. Jumpman, yes, Jumpman, yes, Jumpman. Yes, 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 oh, he brought the whistle. I got I got to keep y'all in check, man, because you be going off too. Uh, <laughs> no, who's worse, me and him? He is worse. Thank now. you. Yeah, because you 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 what? and your rant on on old girl, uh, man. You oh, an Amber Rose. Amber Rose, you was just too explicit. Wait, that was Amber Rose. Yeah, I think man, so. Man, you is it Amber Rose or the no, uh, it was Barry Amber. thing? It was Amber. Oh, oh was yeah, it, it was the Valone thing? Was it Amber? Okay, it was Amber. It was Amber. Okay. Yeah. I mean, because I I went pretty hard on her too. Yeah, y'all was no pun intended. Y'all was out cold uh, with that one. I, I was blowing the whistle at home. <laughs> <laughs> My kids started doing jumping jacks. Yeah, it thought you wanted to do drills. I'll hit her up on back page and apologize. <laughs> and then she of course, to the show. <laughs> she's a big fan. She's a big big fan. Um. Anyway, of course, you know we just got on them. We got Francis three one three in the building. Looking good, Francis. Well rested. Three like one three. Not catching. Uh, Pretty jealous. Yeah, I'm really, really well rested. You are. You look yeah. rested. Thank you. You have a glow to you. Thank you. You what? Are you <laughs> pregnant? <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> First of all, I'm out of that one. I'm not, like now, it's gonna become a, become a competition to see who can get the most whistles. Uh, all right. So make sure you follow us on Can't social media. Uh, we were just. I was just talking about this before the show. Uh, Instagram. I don't know what the hell they're doing. Um, I don't know, man. I, I see, and it's funny because I was talking to uh, both Polos and Jays and Buckeye City So, and those dudes post like every twenty minutes. It's like a new post, and I'm like, yeah, it's ridiculous the amount of posting they do, but it's effective. I mean, they got more followers than us now, and I mean, not that I really care about the followers. However, if we go from getting this much feedback. So like this much feedback, I know I'm putting my hands up as if people listening can see what I'm doing. But if we can go from really high feedback to like super low feedback, something is wrong. We're not doing anything different. I can help you know? it that I'm popular. Oh, well, they are popular. Um, but so I just told them like, yo, if I gotta do all, if I gotta do that much work to be on social media, I might not want to be on there. Like I just 
Call me old school. Call me, call me what you want to. I just if I got to start creating shifts, and you know, hey, you do this tomorrow, and you post this today, and you post this at nine o'clock, and you, no, if yeah. I got to do all that, like if I got to if it's be, if social media becomes a job, I, I want no parts of it. I mean it. It's a job in a sense. Like when I, when I post videos, in order to respond to them, right, it takes a, a okay. good amount of, of time out, yeah. of, out of your day if if you want to connect with the people that are taking the time to, right. to comment. So it can be depending on depending on how much you post. Right, but I mean that's my point though. Like I mean I've seen some people. I mean it's like yo, you have to dedicate an entire day to you know the amount of posts that they post up, and I'm I just don't have the time. Like I got things I want to do. I mean, it ain't got to be anything important, too. Like, I might want to take a nap. <laughs> I might want to play my Xbox. Like, I'm, I'm just not going to sacrifice Xbox time for Instagram time. It's just, I'm just not. I'm not at that place. Um, but if you're feeling benevolent, uh, you can follow us on Instagram at the sneakerbox underscore podcast. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter at the sneakerbox underscore. And you can follow us by simply looking up the sneakerbox podcast uh, page on Facebook. And if you'd like to talk to us live with your questions, uh, comments about a particular shoe that's coming out, or if you got a grail or you got some shoes that you've been trying to get, or you're looking for some shoes because we had people get hooked up through the show, um, give us a call at 888 And also, if you're the first caller from a particular location, you get a free Cryptotech care pack, courtesy yeah. of our partners over at Cryptotech. Um, Before we get too that's far what in, looks like. Ash... 82, mm -hmm. underscore 82. Yeah. You met him in Chicago. Okay. And he wants everybody to sign the shirt. I've had this okay. for a while now. Um, when I was in um, Iowa, Iowa, he wants everybody on the podcast to sign it, and I'm going to send it back to him. So right. everybody's supposed to be here. I talked to Guru. He said he was coming. MJ said she was coming. <laughs> here we are. So we're, <laughs> we're here. You bring a hey. shirt? Come on. Are you surprised Guru's not here? You know. Are you surprised? Tech on there. <laughs> I wonder if he's going to catch his plan. Like, I swear. What's he's the over on the under? same flight as me, too. What's the over-under on him <laughs> showing up <laughs> on time? Yeah. Um, that's a sports rock, too. Yeah, also, it is. <laughs> also, What's that? This, is, this is the bill okay. that I'm going to pay with the um, Kickstarter. Yes. Shout out to everybody. So, shout out to everybody. That's how much yeah. it is. What, 652? It is like 652. That is, we'll just round it up. That is just... Part of the bill that the insurance company covered. Mm. Now, the, the main, the main bill they have yet to cover, and you see what that total is just for the oh, surgery. Where's the oh, oh my God! I mean, they <laughs> seven, oh, seventy-eight, seventy-eight thousand. Oh man! I wasn't, I wasn't playing. I don't even know if I want to say that. You know, man. but my it, heart hurts. I had to have it. Oh, no, yeah. You, you know, see that number? It, it had, is, it had it's to about be done. Uh, two undefeated fours. Uh, Man, that's <laughs> like three M and M fours. Yes, I might be two mags. If, if the insurance <laughs> company don't come through, it's gonna be what it's gonna be. You know, man. Yeah, that's, you might have to sell your whole collection. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. that's ridiculous, that's, man. That's what it is. Health insurance, is, you uh, you you pay for that all your life, but when you need them, boy, they. I know. A bucket. Healthcare in this country is just But ridiculous. once again, appreciate everybody who contributed to it. And you right. and, and Buckeye. Yep. Shout out to them. up and, and all OG listed. sneakers. Yep. One leg of Everybody who, who retweeted. Or, OG or sneakers. Everything. Yeah. yeah. So appreciate so, it. Shout out to everybody that contributed. Oh, Soul Science. They yeah. were um, oh, really yeah. huge. Yeah. They were huge in that as well. Yeah, trying. Definitely. I want to make sure I thank everybody. If I didn't, if I'm missing anybody, please judge it to my head, not my heart. Um, but I'm glad that. At least takes care of something for you. I mean, and I can ridiculous. even sit on a plane now comfortably. Yeah. Sneaker files right. says you no. gotta get to Canada. They get all the free surgeries up there. I know. Just, <laughs> I know. Change of citizenship. Just get hurt over there and stay. <laughs> can I get citizenship? You, can you have dual citizenship with uh, Canada? Uh, that's a good question. I want to say sure yeah. A, you would think people go back and forth so. all the it's time. It's probably not an easy process, but you could do it. I know you should. Just go I, I met a. Um, oh uh, yeah, you'd be paying twice the taxes. So. I met a um, a father and son actually last year in down in Costa Rica. They were down there for two months doing medical stuff, and they were like, "It's cheaper to take the time off work 
fly down here and stay down here for two months than it is to get insurance. I mean, get medical coverage back in the States. Yeah, it's ridiculous. And it was the same. Like, they showed me pictures of the facility. It was just like, you would think it's like a tent or something, but it was like a regular hospital. They were like, it's cheaper to spend two weeks in another country. I mean, well, healthcare is, I mean, that's like the one segment of business where they just get away with murder as far as prices. Um and it just goes unchecked. I, mean, I, just, I don't know. Well, I don't there's know. actually a there's a, a hospital in Thailand called uh, Brumrungrand or whatever, yeah. and you go right on their website, and they have a whole menu of options that you can click on, mm-hmm. and it'll, it'll show you the expenses. Are we going to Thailand? Uh, I, I mean, we can. Is there a sneaker con in Thailand? <laughs> uh, you know yeah. what? I wouldn't be surprised if it just shows it's up spon- today. <laughs> it's sponsored by Kids Foot Locker. If I go on an Insta. <laughs> <laughs> Best named city in the world. I see what you did there. Yeah. Um, oh yeah! Speaking Bangkok. of which, White Ranger just came back from Germany. Yeah, Ach, so shout out to. Oh, who's that? You can't have that. This is this what. Is, this is straight from Francis three one three. Yeah. The Mountain Dew Rasta clat. and I have two. Hold on, Rasta. Two different rock, colors. One to stock. Yeah. Rasta. <laughs> what? Yeah, I got Are you stock in bracelets. I got. I uh, Mountain Dew, of course. I oh, um, I had those when he was uh, recovering. I meant to give them to him the entire time, but. I never saw him, so I've been Let me guess, you got those for free. I did. I have a bag of them. Oh, don't hate on my man. And I brought him his shirt. Oh, don't hate on I got one, too, though. So, nah, what size is that, though? It looks it's like a, a 4X. It's a 2X. Oh. Come on, man. You're trying to say I'm, I'm uh, you're extra, some, you're extra medium. You're getting some weight since you got that surgery. <laughs> extra <Stop>. medium. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have, like, four of those shirts somehow. No, I, I mean, I got I, I have a medium in my Ooh, bag. Ooh, he has four shirts. <laughs> I have a medium in my bag if you need one. Francis has four shirts and only have one. Can you make, he'll be like Ezekiel Elliott <laughs> at the draft. <laughs> 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 I don't know who that is. He got give him a medium. Two J's kicks, halter top. You had to see that on TV. It was on every. He was on, he was even on regular TV. I don't watch TV. Oh wow! Oh, but, yeah, yeah. Like, no, yeah. I watch what? Like, like Netflix and shit. I don't watch like regular. It's just TV. the WE channel, and that's oh, it. Oh wow! Uh, no, Freeform. <laughs> Watch the Fosters. Wow. Oh, my God. That is embarrassing. I'd rather watch the At the draft, he had on, like, a cut-off dress shirt yeah, with a was, suit. Yeah, he looked you know, it, he just, very suspect. Something Ohio State would do. Yeah, he looks well-rested, like he was pitching and catching. <laughs> um, but, oh, yeah, White Ranger just came back from Germany? How was your trip? Right. Yeah, I could leave it. Hey. Right, yep. Um, trip was great. Got uh, kind of hung out with my uh, nephew and... I'm not saying how old he is, but he was legal to drink there. That's nice. Up. That's all that matters. Thirteen. Couldn't, couldn't post any pictures on uh, social <laughs> right. media because I didn't want him getting in trouble in school. So, no, he's uh, he's almost eighteen. In fact, he turned eighteen yesterday. Happy oh, birthday congrats. to uh, Peter. Congrats. Wait a minute. If it was legal, then why was he? Why would he get in trouble? Yeah, but see, back here, he's not legal, and with social media, the instructors uh, see you drinking yeah. and they come down on you. It doesn't matter where you were and if it was legal there. It's just like, and this may be a surprise to Francis, but if you were to employ the services of a particular woman with certain skills in another country where it might be legal, you could still get in trouble here. What? Because it's not legal here, and you're supposed to abide by our laws. Okay. Anywhere I go, I'm supposed to abide by American law. Yes, sir. That is... Come on, America. So all those people that went over to Canada from our area went over to Canada to drink when they were 19? Who does yeah. that? Uh, yeah, I'm not right, it's not illegal. any names, but uh, that was technically illegal for them to do. Illegal. What? That's and all, all I'm saying. Cubans I smoked in Canada back what? in the day. Those hey, were I don't want to hear about your dalliances, okay? <laughs> so let me ask you this. So, like, so uh, <laughs> since I'm supposed to follow American law in another country, yeah. So, the, so I'm guessing it just supersedes the other law then. Like, so I, I don't have to follow their laws. No, you don't. I just have to follow American law. Well, you're supposed to kind of find the happy medium. So what? things like the speed limit, if the speed limit is 100 miles an hour, yeah. it's okay to do that because on that oh, road... Oh, I won't come back and lay you went uh, 20 miles over but in if you, uh, Amsterdam. So we're gonna if you, you were to go to Amsterdam and participate in the, um, the finer cannabis or space cake items... Mm-hmm. You ever seen space, space cake? cake? I'm not going to tell you about it. Um... Technically, that's illegal for you to do here. What? Yeah. Isn't it? A, I, I that's just man. That, I mean, I didn't know that, so I mean, yeah. now I'm like nervous to go anywhere now. Yeah. And it's isn't it like don't just leave your home. Super overrated over there, like the the the, co- the coffee shops. And stuff? Why do you ask me? I, mean, you've I been did been not go to Amsterdam. You've never been to Amsterdam. Oh, I've been to Amsterdam. Oh, okay. This trip, I how didn't many go times to have you been there? 
Because that's why you've been in every country at least five times. Well, let's put it this way. my uh, I've got a suite of my own at the hotel that I stay oh, at. Oh, my goodness. I believe it. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm. You always got the hookup stuff. I know. I'm just, I'm just going to hang out with uh, White Ranger until we go out of, out of the country. I was flying with White Ranger and thought I was important. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, man. We went all into the back exclusive rooms. You had to push a button to get in. That says everything. a lot because Jumpman usually, <laughs> yeah. usually gets that preferential treatment. Yeah, White Ranger gets the treatment. You hang yeah. with the big dog, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, but no. I, I will say this. I, uh, I did get to go. I'm a, a beer lover. I love bourbon actually more. But um, went to La Trappe Monastery Brewery in uh, the Netherlands. Mm-hmm. And I went to... Um, I can't think of the second one. I was drinking so much beer, apparently. Um, went to a second monastery in Belgium. Um, incredible beer at both. So I drank with the monks and taught them a few things. I think a couple of them quit the monkhood. I know. I was going to say, they just quit altogether. Yeah. They tried to convert me, but uh, I said, no, beer is my love, but the ladies. The, the ladies. ladies are my true love. Wow. Yeah. I can only imagine the orgy that went down at that monastery. <laughs> After I, I left, I don't have to imagine. I got photos. You know? <laughs> That's why he's so well versed in the law. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know. You might uh, you might consider. I'm not sure, but you know, I, I talk about uh, being Aryan nation and all that, and I hope everybody here knows better than that because not me. And, I mean, you uh, white and bald. So yeah, mean, well, yeah, I kind of fit into the group, but you're at least betting a thousand so far, right? <laughs> But I, I sent you a picture and a, a caption. And you might, <laughs> oh, yeah. You, you might post that. that. <laughs> take a, uh, take a yeah. snap of it and post it. I'm going to post it. Like, yeah. yeah, it was it was funny. Yeah, hopefully nobody gets like all in their pants. I mean, it was people meant so to offensive. be insulting to people that think that that's racist. Yeah, I know. I know. So. We got a negative email, speaking of which. We last, did? Yeah, like some guy was like, stick to the sneakers. Like, yeah, because we, you know, oh, we talked about, yeah. uh, it was, you know, Joe Osteen and his, uh, you know, fake church, I don't know, wherever he's at. That person's yeah. And, uh, you know, get away, you know, this is my getaway. I don't want to hear about all this other stuff. And did I'm Joel like, well. Os- did Joel Osteen write the. Uh, it might have been Joel Osteen yeah. himself. You know, he's a big fan of the show. Or his so wife, I think, maybe. He might have been. There's under a, some type of alias and sent me that email. There's a, there's these, uh, when you're listening to podcasts, whether it be on like a, um, an app or YouTube. Yeah. There's, um, when you click around on it, there's, there's this button, there's this arrow. There's one that goes reverse. And That's what I told him. Like, just fast forward, like, dude. Like, you know, I'm not about to apologize. Here's the thing about it. Like, I'm not about to apologize for everything that's done on the show. Like, if there's something egregious, fine, you know. But I'm not because once you start apologizing, you never stop, and you're not going to please everybody. So I just got to the point where it's just like the show is what it is. You either like it or you don't. And the parts you don't like, fast forward. I don't care. I really I, don't. I well, fast forward through all the sports parts. <laughs> I don't. I mean, yeah, I know. Hey, and you know, anybody that uh, thinks that this show is racist, I, I just got to jump in and say. The reality is that you and I were, were like so far from being racist. Uh, I have you as a black friend, which is really nice. Right. I actually kind of went out with a uh, an Asian woman. Right. Um, that's all I got. But <laughs> oh, oh, you know, and I think I uh, I, um, I said hello to a Hispanic longer. woman um, at the airport. She was cleaning the bathroom. Yeah. You know, I am absolutely not racist. <laughs> He's just going through the list of chicks he's been with. In the uh, last week. I know. Um, and it doesn't okay, come that's all for I'm him saying. either. But I will say this, though. I mean, um, you know, we try to have fun with sneakers. But, like, I mean, sometimes there are things that are going on going on in the world that are bigger than sneakers. It transcends sneakers. And, you know, especially with, you know, all, most of us being minorities, black, uh, whatever Francis is. Um, we <laughs> White. I'm white. You know, I'm a minority <laughs> oh, now. Goddamn. Uh, but, you know, like, so, I mean, things will affect us, you know, and like, you know, we have a platform and, you know, and while I'm thinking about it, shout out to Jamil Hill, we stand with you, man. Oh, yeah. That took courage to say what you had to say. And, you know, if anybody got a problem with it, your boy did it. You know, if you voted for Trump and you complain about Jamil Hill, he did it years prior. He, Obama was the president. He was a television personality. He called the president a racist, even though he had nothing to back it up. It was just a bunch of gibberish. Jamil Hill is stating facts. 
when you surround yourself with white supremacists and you ingratiate, go out your way to ingratiate yourself to white supremacists, people might think you're a white supremacist. Yeah. So, you know, so miss me with that. Oh, you just, that's being racist. No, being racist is calling somebody a name based on their race. She called him a name based on his actions. So there's a difference. Just like if I go out there and I steal something from a store, people might call me a thief. They just might. That's nothing to my right. I stole something. Mm-hmm. That's what I do, right? So, um, anyway, that's as far as we're gonna go. Because God forbid I get another email. This is my getaway. Just stick forward, the sneakers. Just forward it to me. I'll take yes. care of them. Stick the shoes. Uh, all right. So anyway, um, the sneaker box Fab Five releases from the previous the Fab week. Five. Fab Five. The Fab Five. The Fab Five. The Fab Five. Top five. Top five. Top five. I saw it in my dream. Brought to you by Sneaker Legends, Detroit's newest sneaker spot. Can I still say newest sneaker spot? We've been like, I know, like we've (laughs) been pushing them for like the last eight months. Uh, Missed out on your favorite sneaker release? No problem. Just make your way down to the store located at 1033 Howard Street in Dearborn, Michigan. Or you can look up the inventory of the latest and greatest sneakers on their website at sneakerlegends.com. Number five, we have the Nike KD10 Celebration. Celebration. Um, all right, I'm gonna pull it up. I like this shoe though. I, I really, um, oh yeah, yeah, it's cold. I like. It. Um, and then you know, with us being here in Michigan, you know, it kind of goes with that theme. Yeah. Uh, so anything blue and gold or blue and maize or anything within that realm is always going to be hot. I yeah. might just buy a pair of Buckeye City Soul size and just send it to them as a gift. Shout out to MSU. Um, stop it. Stop <laughs> it. They're done. They're cooked. Oh, yeah, MSU ain't going nowhere. Uh, shout out to Oklahoma, though. Where'd um, the school go? <laughs> the school moved. Like, they just <laughs> packed up. They moved to Canada for better, better health care. Uh, yeah, the KD-10, though, celebration, or finals PE, whatever you want to call it. Clean shoes. Probably one of the few dope colorways of the KD-10. I'm just mad at the KD-10 that they try to, like, fool us. Like, all right, here's the KD-9 Elite, and here's the KD-10. And we just made the laces. Stretched out further. That's it. That's the only difference between the two shoes. Uh, so the pack, just the fact that they tried to pass this off as a completely different model is just beyond me. But it's a nice colorway. So uh, number four, a lot of people are talking about this pack. The Bait Special Edition, tra- well, Bait and Transformers Special Edition Deodora Collection. I didn't know Transformers was, a, was an actual entity, like its own company. Usually, it's all those Hasbro. Yeah, I, th- I would think you obviously bait and Hasbro, not bait Transformers. But, you know, I guess the Transformers collaborated. Uh, a bunch of robots just walked into bait headquarters <laughs> and uh, made picked out designs and colorways of their own shoe. I like this. That was a dope. I like yeah, that. Yeah, I like that I whole like pack. Uh, somebody got all four. I can't remember who it was off the top of my head. but You remember the um, – Probably when... DJ Dales. He's oh, yeah, Dales is always good. Yeah. Remember the, the collaboration with Reebok a couple years ago? Where they came with pieces and they built one giant transformer. What the shoes? Yeah, there was what? like it came in like a giant box. It was like, like fucking that big. No, I didn't know. Three that. feet and they had the shoe and it had like a, a transformer. Yeah. And they all fucking connected. Jeez. Yeah, it was fucking nuts. Man, can you say can you say can you say the f word like one more time? <laughs> How about we, not? I know we get a coffee. We get a free coffee if you say it five times. Oh. Watch your sentence. language, Mr. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, we're gonna, we gonna put a we gonna come with a swear job. We should. That. I know. And then the person at the end of each month that that swears the least gets the funds. Francis, that was, that's gonna be Francis easy. will single handedly be our biggest sponsor. Oh, man. Yeah, he he might as well just cash <laughs> like, in one of his. We wouldn't checks. need another sponsor ever. We just have Francis. Francis is money. His wife would be cracking him in the head every time he leaves. <laughs> you know, cost us more money. He'd be destitute and broke while the show is just thriving from his. <laughs> and then he, he he gonna pull out why he gonna stunt. There we go. Swear box. Oh, I know. Yeah. yeah. There you go. <laughs> He's, that's what we. That's what we need uh, for uh, Francis. Uh, yeah. A swear box. So oh, white, white Ranger is is telling us. That's how much it is. I know. We would have to. So by the end of the year. You need a big box like that, Francis. Someone the, just correct me. It was Voltron, not Transformer. Uh, ooh. Yeah. That was my fuck up. So I'm going to just See, gonna drop. No, no, there you go. I'm just, I'm just going to drop. Ten. I'm going to drop 80 bucks in this box. I'm telling you. Get me through the next 20 minutes. <laughs> by the end of the year, we'll have like this Breaking Bad size pallet of money. You got to uh, accept credit card? <laughs> oh, no. We're going to have to PayPal in on you. <laughs> I just, I just dropped my company's Amex uh, in there. You charge, it, <laughs> you charge it at the end of the year. <laughs> Oh my God! Uh, number three, uh, and my daughter loves this shoe too. 
I'm happy that she. I'm happy that she's getting the sneakers. I hear you, champagne diabetes, man. How, how do you feel about champagne diabetes? The, the mocha. Wait, wait, that's their name. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, the mochas are rumored to be coming out. Yes. And I, you know, I always said I'm, I'm not gonna touch my OGs. You know, uh-huh. once they retire, they retire. But the only thing wrong with my mochas is the heel tab snap. It broke off. Could I wear it without that heel tab, or should I replace uh, it, or should I leave it dead? Look, I, I look at it like teeth. You know, you're not gonna just go without teeth, right? If yeah. you lose a tooth, you're gonna get that boy replaced. It's yeah. not a good look, so, so I, I get that replaced too. Yeah. OG sneakers. Or to get the new one. Connected me with a guy in San Diego who who, oh, who can replace those. Who can replace it? So I'm. I'm I'll be honest with you. That. I wasn't looking for them when they first came out, and I, I won't be looking for them. Oh my year. goodness. I, honestly, I never got the appeal that's, of That's them. like blasphemous, I guess. I, I guess. I, that's one of those hate I never it, got it or love it shoes. Yeah, right? I, I never got the appeal of it. I was, I, I remember, because first of all, when they first came out, it wasn't like they were going crazy for them either. Not it either. wasn't until they, they sold out years later. It was, it was years like, later people yeah. wanted them. Oh, my God, I got to have those mochas. And I'm like, what? Yeah, what? yeah I don't get it. I, I mean, it's a brown and white shoe. That, that never appealed to me, ever. Like I, I just, I mean, shoot your shot. You know, if you like them, I'm not saying don't buy it. I just... I don't get it. No, that's what um when I was helping Ray, who's been on here, move his stuff around. Like we found like three pairs that he had, and he was yeah. like bugging. He was like, "Man, I need to get rid of one." I was like, "Just, uh, just, just donate." Don't <laughs> hmm. Get your kids. Uh, <laughs> shout out to Chiquita. What do you wear? Eleven. He's a nine. Nine. Oh yeah. yeah. He can get rid of those easy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But these Island Green foams, though, I, I love them. I'm not a big fan of the uh, foam posit Pro because that swoosh. Bothers it just bothers me, man. It just really does. I know I might just sound like the most trivial thing to be upset about. Uh, I, like I like them it. in certain colors. Yeah, yeah this would definitely like be the one of those silver colors. surfers, and I like the Doctor Dooms. And I, I did like those wool joints. The, or the tech fleece. I, yeah, the tech fleece were nice. Yeah. Uh, I like these too, though. I might get a matching pair for both me and my daughter. Though. Like she liked this pair. Mm-hmm. Um, so I might surprise her with this. Foams look big in like a ten. Well, it won't be a surprise now because she's in the building, right? No, she got her headphones on. Like she, I, I, I gotta say this: <laughs> kids love YouTube. Like it doesn't matter what it is. Like YouTube has become like what Nickelodeon and whatever else we used to watch MTV. Like when we were kids, like it. Like my nieces come over, her, they just want to watch YouTube. We have a big sixty-five inch TV. Got all these oh, movies. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Ooh. Um, he had to go I didn't get it for free, though. Like Francis, yeah, Francis yeah, got his whatever. for free. Not uh, paid for mine. <laughs> but, yeah, so, like, I mean, I got an Xbox. I got all this stuff, and you would think they would be, you know, wanting to watch. No, nope, let's watch YouTube all day, every day. And it's like, wow. They can watch YouTube on TV. And, they'll, and, like, the videos are, like, five minutes. So they'll watch, like, 300 YouTube videos if I let them. At a point, I'm just like, look, I got to watch something, you know, Something else, man. I can just watch, you know, somebody uh, play. Like they, in the favorite videos they to watch is kids playing video games. My son watches that. It's like what? Like so, you'd rather watch somebody play instead of actually playing mm. yourself. Like yeah. I don't. Love, love. I, I guess. I mean, that's the new way, though. I mean, you know, shout out to the kids. Uh, number two, we have the Diodora V Seven Thousand Premium Dutch Blue. I love these. I'm just mad at Diodora for not making them on my size. Like I, I'm, I'm really getting sick and tired of these brands. I don't like them. You don't? No. Nah, What's wrong with not them? Not at all. They look like a oh. women's flat. A woman's flat? What? what? Yeah, it looks like a women's flat shoe. Is something else showing up on his screen that's not on mine? Nah. I like those. It, it like I like a, the colors. I know like the colors are, I mean, the colorway is all, just dope. I love the V7000. You, you, you know what a, a flat, what women yeah, call Yeah, I know, flats. yeah. That's, someone that's missed, what it looks like. Someone missed the eye in that article right off top, though. The Dora. Oh, uh, no. I, that wasn't me. <laughs> I, I don't want to put They needed you there. I don't want to put anybody. Quality control, Francis. I don't want to put anybody on blast. Oh, they can't see it on the screen. But Mario. <laughs> I was going to put some guy named Mario. Um, but no, I, I mean, look, Diodora has been coming out with some dope shoes. I feel yeah. like some of these smaller brands, because they're not as big as Nike and, and Adidas, like they have to put in work. Their quality, the the Dora has been coming out like just on point with the quality. Between them, Sakoni and Asics, I mean. So yeah. is it the Dora or Dora. Diodora? It's, it's uh, in this article. It's, it's the Dora. It's the, <laughs> the, is it what? It's the Dora. Oh, I know the Dora. 
Um, the Explorer. Yeah, these are dope though. Like we, <laughs> <laughs> the door, the Explorer. The door. <laughs> these are. I mean, honestly, these are clean. These are dope. And not as. And the thing I like about these shoes is that they probably got better material, better quality on them, and it only costs like a hundred and something dollars, if not, that. If that. If most that. of them. Most the doors are like ninety bucks. What's that? Mesh? You gonna keep going with the Dora? <laughs> Mesh leather and suede. Make, yeah, that's suede. The Dora. Nice. That's sweet. Yeah. Like I get honestly, I get these like like a good for Rihanna's. Oh, easily. <laughs> easily. Uh, oh, you wasn't here last week. Like, so we created a new grading scale based on Rihanna. So like, you can any shoe, the most it can get is five Rihannas. So I I don't want to give anything five because then I'm setting the bar high. So I'm gonna give these four. I'm not. A fan is it easy? Of her. I'm a fan. What? Not at all. Uh, I mean, I could take her or leave her. I'm just going. Man, with the listen. System. You're gonna walk in this room right now. I'm gonna forget I have a show. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. But no, these are at least four Rihanna's, at least, like in my that. opinion. Uh, and then number one, you should put Subber for Shumpert's wife. Oh heck no, <laughs> no. The Nike Kyrie Three Mamba mentality. I, I mean, I always liked. That whole Bruce Lee concept. Don't wait, don't skip to go crazy. Skip who? Skip goes hard. Yeah. Skip, come on, now, man. These are. I, I, I just gave the Diodorus for Rihanna, so I gotta at least give these four or four, four and a half Rihannas right here. He called. I think he called it a hype beast shoe. Oh, shut up, Skip. You guys. He's uh, still. He's still recovering from that fall in Dallas. <laughs> 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 hey, Skip. This comes with merch. <laughs> this comes with uh, Bruce Lee merch. I like this show. I I love this show. I mean, I'm not a big fan of the Kyrie's either. Uh, but I just thought this was dope. I mean, I know some people think that the whole Kobe. Oh, there you go. Oh, there goes Skip. Oh, oh, man. Skip. I didn't even know he had dishes on the stairs. Like, that was the funny thing. Oh, Skip. Look out, Skip. Oh. Yeah, that go. made me feel like I was there. <laughs> oh. And he still had his gloves on. He had his gloves on. <laughs> you just see a blur of brown and red tumbling down the stairs. Uh, skip, 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 skip. <laughs> Can you play that one more time? <laughs> uh, shit. That's going to be my new favorite drop for now on, I swear. Oh! oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's a bowling pin on the yeah. stairs. Oh, watch out. Man, he knocked everything off I'm the telling you, he took everything out. And ain't none of y'all wake up. I know. Yeah. Nobody woke up. I know. Woke up. All that noise and nobody woke up to see if he's okay. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. I'm surprised he wasn't injured as more, as more, more than he was. Those, those, those With all the stuff he took out, you would think I would have got bowling a huger pin. bill. I know it's a bowling pin, some dishes, <laughs> some beer bottles, all lined up on the stairs in anticipation of him falling. I, I believe there was beer bottles on that stairs. I know that I believe. <laughs> Just where the dishes and bowling pins came from, I don't know. I brought the bowling pins. Oh, okay. Yeah. Still in bowling pins. Just <laughs> lined them up on the stairs. So the question I have to ask is, did he get a strike? Yes. Did right. he, you the man, Skip. Yep, there is. <laughs> it was a seven... Seven pin split. The, I just wish you was gonna be in Atlanta, man. I, only, I wish she was too. I'll catch up with you somewhere. He's the only like person not in this room right now that has a drop. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> and there's no stair. Well, there are some stairs, but none that he has to worry about. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh, look. <laughs> <laughs> he is taking out every. I'm telling you. It's like a like a bull in a china shop right there. I remember when you told me that you couldn't even get the story. I know, it, it was so he, funny. Because he was so mad when he called me. It's like 7 in the morning. Nobody should be that mad, no. right? Well, here's, like, what time did he fall? Because we didn't go to sleep till like, Man, it was, like, morning. super early in the morning because I had just dropped off Mayor. Yeah. At the uh, airport. No, at yeah, his hotel. hotel. I'm sorry. Yeah. At his hotel. And I'm on my way back, and he calls me. And he's like, man, these stairs, man, these pussy stairs. <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking about? And he starts breaking down the story, and then he was, like, upset that nobody woke up to see if he was okay. Man, he killed me with his sayings, man. man oh, <laughs> man, he is probably the funniest Ooh, person on YouTube, wee. at least. <laughs> That's not, no, not named Dave Chappelle or anybody else. 
Um, ugliest release of the week. Oh man. Oh yeah, no yeah, that was number one. Ugliest release of the week. Uh, okay. Leroy. <laughs> Super ugly. ugly. Brought to you by Sneakerheads Clothing Line. Sometimes the right pair of laces and accessories can make or add to a shoe. Uh, if you feel like your sneakers are missing that extra something that are taken from a 9.5 to a 10, hit on over to Sneakerheads Clothing Line and find that missing something. Uh, you can follow them on Instagram at sneakerheads underscore clothing underscore line. Um, the ugliest release of the week is the Cottweiler, and I'm hoping I'm saying that right. If I'm not, so what? The Cottweiler Special Edition Reebok Collection. Um, it, I know it looks like they took the Gary Payton glove and gave it Down syndrome. Like it's, it is, oh. like I know. Why? I don't know. It was like they. It was like a competition as to who could take a, a nice gave, looking shoe and destroy it. They gave it a waterproof zipper too. I don't know these. Uh, these. I, I don't know. I can't even explain it. it. There's no angle that looks right. There's no angle that makes this shoe look. How, how much are these? The lows don't look too bad. I'm wearing the lows. The lows aren't too bad. The lows look much better. Yeah. The lows aren't bad. Lows in the blue. That, that but low. they suffer from the highs that are a part of the pack. Like that, I don't know what that is, man. That's just dumb. How much are these? Uh, too price? much. If it's not free, it's too much. Uh, it doesn't say. Oh. If they're not handing them out for free, <clears throat> like they should just be like, it should be a Reebok van driving around every major city looking for homeless people to put shoes on with these shoes mm. these shoes are trash um do they have the white and low yeah it's right there yeah mm-hmm. who's, the, who's the white is that, in the building is that guru guru just walked in oh what the hell <laughs> yeah. uh, he showed up he actually showed up yeah. looking like a youtuber yeah. get your uh sneaker box shoe tuber or guru where can i buy your pablo merch I know. Actually, uh, Guru's trying to get lines at his booth. It's not at all. <laughs> I'm trying to give people hope. <laughs> <laughs> Spit that truth game. True venom. Yeah. Yeah. Good. How many of you game? believe you get a that Ash, if you did not have a teacher, you would have learned these 26 alphabets? Mm-hmm. You know what? Oh, this uh, the tag on the tongue looks yeah. like one of those sensor tags they forgot to take off. That's what it does look like. That's what I thought it was yeah. at first. Going on like, podcast, people. That's, that's what, what I thought it was. I'm like, man. Yeah, it just looks like one of those sensor tags they didn't take off at the store. Man, I, I, yeah. I don't. Yeah, it's like they just took the glove and was like, all right, how can we make this look horrible? Um, but yep. Yeah, so I mean, that's Reebok though. I mean, Reebok just taking L's. I mean, they <laughs> they like the biggest producer of L's in North America. I don't know if that's a fact, but I'm just going to put it out there as if it is. Uh, ugly honorable mentions. And this sh- next shoe is not so much ugly. It's just tacky. Um, I don't know if you can pull it up on my screen because I don't think I sent your pictures. No. Uh, people know what I'm talking about. The Well, the first one is the... Oh, I ain't put it up say we, pull it up. We, if I think it is what it is, we're going to have to talk about it. No. No, well, it's, it's going to be one of them. Trust me. We're going to the, have to uh, talk about it. This next pack was just tacky. I thought the Nike Air Force One Low logo pack was just tacky. It was so bad. It was just tacky. Like, that's coming from France. Yo. Yeah, it that's was, a huge. This, um, I'm not going to send it over, but it was this picture that uh, this guy wore the red lows with the all over LV Supreme stuff. Uh-huh. And it was like one of those, uh, remember those optical illusion books where you cross your eyes and shit mm-hmm. would come 3D? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Look at this. I'm, oh, man, I know. Uh, Who is this guy? I don't yeah, know, that, was just too, that was just too much, man. Yeah. Way too much. Like, if you got to do all that to match your shoes. Oh, yeah, that's a uh, oh, man who owns That's people that know how to. If, he owns what? Slow Bucks. Remember that clothing brand, Slow Bucks? Do you know used to wear it with the snail on it? With the he has a clothing brand? Man, come on now. Yeah. That just. Oh, yeah. so I guess everybody wearing that. Just so you got to wear a camo. Stuff, you got to no. wear a uh, marine uniform if you got camo print shoes. Yeah, Cut. that picture was just bad. Cut but your that, jeans and make them short. Man, that's. Uh, wear that, with a, that entire pack was just bad. Yeah, I know. I, I just. Who's asking for that? Nobody. Well, that's the thing. So, you know, it was the it's the 35th anniversary of the Air Force One, and 
they've given us nothing but shit all year. Yeah. Like, and then they drop this, and it's like, oh, another bad Air Force One. I mean, they come out with a lot of. I mean, they've had some good sleepers though this year too. Yeah, but I mean, for a big anniversary milestone, for a, they need to do something like they reissued the linen, which was dope, but then they gave it just to to Kit. That's because he asked for it. That's because he understands the culture far as from the back in the days until now, but the rest of Nike does it. I mean, so he, they're not going to like the Air Maestros, which you should have been in retro dash. You know what I'm saying? So it's just things of that nature. If somebody doesn't tell them who they found is deem as credibly or in touch, they're not. So it's just like he looks at it like I'm about to give you this free consultation for you to make money money off of it. So if I'm going to give, if I'm suggest them, I'm going to make sure Here I go, get benefited from it. Terrible. Yeah. It's just like. This looks like that, uh, that scrapped. Um, Supreme low SB from like 2003. I can't remember off the top of my head, but yeah, it was like so. You know the Supreme highs. But now I see did? why it was scrapped. So Supreme, the Supreme highs they did. There was a low top version that had like the all over like Nike print too that they scrapped. Yeah, these these are just tacky. Like I mean, I like I said, it wasn't so much ugly; it was just tacky. Which I mean, I guess you can argue that it's the same thing. Yeah. Uh, jump man, I know he's about to be mad at this next one, so I guess. The off white collection. Sorry. I, I'm not talking Sorry. about the whole well, <clears throat> let's get it. Let's get Sorry. It. Let's see what you got. Sorry. No, it's just, not, just Sorry, not sorry. Let's get what Caesar, you got. Caesar, Caesar, man. Like, the off white collection. That's why we can't leave you. That's why we can't leave you by yourself for right, long. Right. Look, this shoe <laughs> right. this whole collection was basically like let's take prototypes and butcher it and write names on it in Sharpie. And I am not moved whatsoever by any of them. Now nah, some any of, of them. some of it is not as appealing as most but the ones I understood because he wanted to see like from when I watched the keynote when he explained it when he uh, took the jury one, Air Jordan 1 he was like is there air in there and I was like yeah so he took a knife and punctured it and then they cut it open to show him that there was air so that's why he wrote it he just wanted to deconstruct like this that is, is the iconic. dumbest explanation for How? ever I mean everything he designs is dumb he'll, he'll take like, a t-shirt on, and like, just because you have an explanation doesn't mean it is a good one but those things but like these things when you do as far as I took CAD right so we when we like if I go slash your tires like I want to go see if there's air in it and tss, but my thing is there's no visible like, air unit or there's not that shoe doesn't feel like it has air in it let's be real Okay, so him writing air on it makes no. Sense. He like, didn't just write air on it. He actually had the shoe deconstructed so he could see what's in it. I'm not well, saying I'm, that I'm, where where do you I'm see the air? Where do you see the air unit at? I mean, I know it has one in there, I'm, but you I'm don't glad. see it. That's why that's he why wrote, he did what he right, did. But that's stupid. <laughs> like, we, first of all, like nobody he couldn't sell a shoe like that. So I'm not, okay, wait, 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 wait. So first of all, most people that actually give a shit about what's in a shoe knew that already. Second of all, you writing air on there does nothing. Okay, so you wrote air on there. So now I guess people know. Because people still don't even know. They just think probably. Believe it or not, there's a lot of people in, in the sneaker community now, which is younger. Right. That do not know, have no but clue, I guarantee no idea. You, more people are going to correlate the air, not with, this, with the, uh, the unit or whatever. Probably just going to correlate it with the Air Jordan. Probably just gonna They're like, going to oh, correlate uh, it with money. <clears throat> Probably on so. resale, we, they could care true. less about true. any type of history with that shoe. That's He's point. trying to express history, right? Of the Air Jordan. But well, for people that know already, don't care, and for people that don't care about history, I'm but just... it's for people who don't know. Well, who, I mean, but how many people, people are looking that up? Though? A lot of people younger than us. Guru well, way Guru was younger than you the guys. One person in this room that looked that up because honestly, I didn't care enough. <laughs> But you know, that's the but that's, that's what the he wants people to do. know. Because he wants not. people to know why. That's my he point. Did you have it. to care, like, dude. You have to actually go search out what he said, and even when he said it, it's not a very good explanation. It's probably one of the worst explanations I probably wow. heard about a shoe. Wow, that's and educational. How? Caesar, Caesar, bro. By letting how? people know who do, who don't know that there is. But my point. That's my point, though. Like you try. Like, Okay, so most people that do know already don't care about the whole air on the heel, I and the people that, that don't know, and the people that don't know about the um the air zooming, it's probably young kids that don't give a shit anyway. Okay, okay see, but my thing is, so at least he did do. his part though. What part? Okay, I can give I you air on the heel. No, wow. no, 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 no. Can I, 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 I can give you knowledge, but if you choose to not care, that's on you. But at least I did my job, dude. But you talking about but a, but Nike he, has air in almost every shoe. You're no, not but, dropping knowledge. No, that because not, look at the Jordan 15s. They said in the Nike description that has Zoom Air in it. It took for who? It Night took for Wing. Nightwing. Exactly. So my but thing, that was a retro, and that appeal, was something. He hold on, that was something here. totally different. That's something totally different. We're not that's talking about. We're that's not history. talking about. We're not talking the about. The original one did. We're right? not talking. That's what I'm saying. The original one did. We're not talking about. 
Nightwing is something totally different. Like he's talking about coming back with a shoe that originally had this tech that Nike just got cheap and didn't add it for whatever reason and just wanted to sell these shoes and make money. That's something totally different than so Nightwing just wanted to drop knowledge what's his on the shoe. To this with you. Honestly, I I don't know. I don't I mean I get that no, look, I get what he's saying, like, okay, I'm gonna put air on there, but I just think it's dumb and it's trite. And it's not as important as people are making it out to be. It's not as great. It's not as artistic. It is not. There is nothing dope about this shoe. He took a prototype, put his name on it, and some sharpie, and was like, "All right, here you go." Here's All music. you see in this he, shoe is the sharpie air, huh? And he put the names on it to so people that you know, he about the shoelaces and all of that. I'm just glad. He wow, he put shoelaces. I'm, I'm glad he told I'm, me those were shoelaces. I'm glad he clearly marked the shoelaces. I'm glad he told me those were shoelaces. I wasn't sure what was come there. On, come on, guys. Come like, on, guys. Y'all been, y'all been, y'all been, been at this he for a while. Took no, the, he I mean, took the on, Jordan. He took the Jordan one and Frankenstein it. Like at least, at least he just didn't do a Nike ID where he just threw his colors on there. Honestly, I'd have preferred that because then at least I would have known you. Cause it, ah. it, look, because it's cheap either way. Like, you're not moving me because you put shoelace on shoelaces and air on what everybody knows. Okay, but that's just not just – that's, of course, your take. We're just talking about right. the general masses. Off-white is high end. I'm just like done giving people credit just because they got a name and put they in, and came out with a shoe. I'm just done – I'm done – Acting like he put more effort into this shoe than Supreme did with them Air Force. That's not Tools saying a lot. That's Drake not a high bar to jump over. That is not a high bar to jump over. If that's going to be the standard, then there's no wonder why. Would he you came like the OVO like twelves over these, right? Do I like the OVO twelves over those? I don't like neither one. I don't have them. I wouldn't want the OVO. I don't like the black ones. I don't want the white ones because once those things turn off white, it's a wrap. So I don't usually go off the all white shoes, and I wasn't a big fan of the all black tens or the twelves. So now I have I have the all black OVO just came across though. Shout out to I'm just guys. saying if that's gonna be your bar, I would take the OVO twelve. If that's over gonna be your, if you're gonna, if but your bar I is, like I want to make a better shoot in Supreme. Then My, no, I'm just saying as far as the general masses, at least he he's a clothing designer, so he okay. deconstructed the shoe and Ooh, did whatever he wanted that's to do with it. So what? <laughs> Call him a clothing designer. Every asshole with Photoshop is not a clothing hey. designer. I just need to say that. I mean, I, that goes another dollar. <laughs> the I'm just saying, like, I'm getting tired of people that understand basic fucking hey. uh, Microsoft Paint being labeled. But my thing is, for you to make this, we don't know him, right? I call him a clothing designer because he's on clothing companies. Yes. But my thing is, but we don't know companies. him for not to say, okay, whether you're you're this or not, or to say, okay, Look, just you're not you, a clothing designer. Just because you in a movie don't make you a great actor. Some people just end up there by happenstance. And I'm not saying I don't know what his clothing look like because I, honestly, before this pack, I never heard of them. These won't sit on shelves. Shan. No, they won't because they they're limited. Diabetes. Yeah, they're they gone. won't. They're no, not. They're not going to sit on the shelves because they done hyped them up, and now people are just exactly. I'm just I'm just over giving people like all this attention and do just because they came out with a shoe. All sh just because you a designer, and I put that in air quotes. <laughs> just like how he does all of his clothing. Yeah, like this because you literally. <laughs> Just because you are a designer and you make a shoe, does that inherently mean that it was a dope shoe? People can make shitty shoes. Like, it just is what it is. And honestly, but I'm over thing, this. But artists, uh, shoes are just like art. It's acquired taste, whether you like it or not. <clears throat> but some things is trash. Like, some things we just know is garbage. Like, it is no trying to explain around. I, like, I some... will say that I like most of this pack. Like, I could live without the Chuck. <laughs> I ain't the, really the like The blazer I couldn't wear. I think the one, I can't even remember what the one... Shoot, and I, even then, I don't even think it was part of the pack. I think it was like a mock-up somebody else did or on the computer where they were just like, all right, well, what if Off-White did this shoe? But honestly, I just think, you know, most people get – I think we live in a point where, like, if you, if you have a big enough name, people are running to get your stuff. It's not even about talent no more. It's about name and being famous. And if you're famous enough, that's why Amber Rose got a shoe. Like, she ain't got no discernible talent, and she ain't doing talented. nothing with – She's a well, lovely depends lady. depends on – well, in the bedroom – but I didn't say that, JB. Either. <laughs> I, I didn't cuss her, either. I didn't I, cuss. I called her a lovely lady. I didn't cuss. Okay. But I will say, I mean, but it's all about can you help us promote this shoe and sell it? It has nothing to do with can you design a shoe? Or are you good at it? You have a name. We have a shoe. Let's sell it. And honestly, I'm over it already. And I was over this. Oh, wow. He has a zip tie on there. Okay. That's witty. So uh, you don't like the I fact mean, that he put just, air on other. Like, the shoes that he, well, he I'm not a, like, if, you honestly know if it air, if all it takes is for somebody to write air on a shoe but you're looking impressed. at it for face value we're looking at it from the creative process or whatever you guys want to call it but 
that's what I'm looking at. Is I, one I I let the guy explain himself. I'm not just taking my opinion, and just blasting the shoe. I don't. Care I heard that. what Listen, he had to say. I see the shoe. There is no explanation for. I don't give a. Sh- like, of course, he's gonna have an explanation for. It. He's trying to sell the shoe. Just because you have an explanation, everybody has an alibi. Like just because you have an alibi does not mean that you did not commit the crime. You, you might have a shitty him? enough alibi to prove that you was guilty. Did you dislike him before? I didn't know of him. Didn't I did not know, know of him. So this is, uh, this is not a on knock this. on him. This is a knock on these on shoes. The shoes. Okay. You know, like I don't know about it. I didn't say he had shitty clothes because I had never seen him. I can't tell you. I'm just saying I'm over people having big enough names that these brands reach out to. And let's be honest, a lot of these brands are not reaching out because you are a great designer. They're reaching out because you have a name and they want to sell shoes. And so now everybody's throwing stuff against the wall, trying to reach out to different influencers. Now, mm-hmm. let, let me ask uh, JV and Guru. So the the air written on the sole is to show that there is air in the unit. If he went as far as deconstruction, deconstructing the whole upper and rebuilding it, would you think that uh, – think they wouldn't have let him touch the sole. Let's say if you would have created the midsole as like a clear midsole that you could see a visible air unit. Would how would that have Well my thing is they wouldn't let him do that. He said that that he was like, Well let's show it. They was like, No, we don't want we just want to leave that in capsule. So he's asked, could we show it? That let's, I think that would have been But they told him no. Jordan told him to so he no. wrote. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, like that Why would you it, get mad at Jordan Breath for not letting him have fully control? No, I'm just as well, first of all, I'm mad that they let him have too much control on that upper. But I can't. Like, I just, I, I like, would you get? You would be pissed if you went to the bail spoke program, paid nine hundred dollars, and they told you only could do four things. It's a thousand. Right, it's a thousand. Right. Yeah, a thousand. But you'll be. This is not. This is not a bail spoke program. Right. I only but at the same things, time, though. I wouldn't come out with this shit and be like, "Oh, hey, this is so awesome because I wrote air on it." Wait, I I like the shoe. I'm gonna say I like it. I don't. I just. I mean, everybody has the right to opinion. I mean, I'm not. Look, if you like the shoe, buy it. By all means, go ahead and buy it. Shoot your shot. I mean, because it's gonna be pretty damn hard. Because I'm pretty sure it's gonna be super limited. And but I wonder if come out New York or his something. name wasn't attached to it, would it be? I don't know. Not. Yeah, I don't know. Not. I don't know. But that's what I'm saying. Most of these brands are reaching out to people not because they have any talent. If the OVO 12 didn't have Drake's name to it, the black or the white. I mean, because what that Drake? Sell. I mean, it this is the same Drake like that, that was I wearing mean, fake on. Jordans. So now, but, because he's famous, well, there's enough, a lot of there's a lot of people that wear fake Jordans. No, no, no. But my are, point is, are up here they now, didn't reach out to Drake. Events and all of this, They didn't so. reach out to Drake because he was known for making dope colorways of dope shoes or anything. It was but like, okay, thing, Drake, you're famous enough. Too. You have to look at it as well. But my thing is, if Drake did an OVO Chuck, would these people still run out and buy it like that, opposed to OVO twelve? So it was the the best of the Chuck. It was the best of. It was kind of like. They, it was kind of made to happen, you know what I'm saying? This the most popular guy, the most popular shoe brand. You know, it came. To, that's why I feel like it came together. I couldn't, I wouldn't be excited for an OVO Chuck or OVO Monarch or whatever. The way I would be for. But OVO see, you an older cat too, though. OVO I mean, not 12. old, but like older, older than these kids. And I, a lot of these kids, I don't know if they came out with OVO Chuck. A lot of these kids. No, because he had he dropped some OVO Clarks with the uh with the Wu Tang used to wear the Wallabies and yeah. Clarks like he did those and nobody really granted he did when was uh, that one though? or two. It he was did this recently, year. yeah. yeah. Oh. Nobody ran to grab him, so yeah. it's just like that Jordan part does make a difference. Yeah, I mean, I'm not I, saying it doesn't. I think Nike should just start giving these influencers like the Air Monarch to uh, collab on. I mean, see you how see them. I think that'd be I think that'd be really me. interesting. And would they really would they really collab with them? With who? If the people, the if, air minor. If, because uh, yeah, because the influence, no, because the influencers have leverage, right? So you're struggling. You can't make dope product on your own. You need the collaborations to stay relevant, right? Right. So if you're going, if you're going to come out to me to use me for lazy marketing mm-hmm. because I have a name in fashion, right? You're going to let me pick whatever shoe, but sometimes because they I'm, don't. I'm, well, that's the case. Then well, Off White didn't have nothing to lose by saying no. If you don't let, if you gave me an Air Monarch, oh, I have to do an Air Monarch. No, like screw that. I'm pretty, I'm I mean, I'm pretty sure there would be somebody. That would just be geek to have their own shoe, even if it was an Air, Air Monarch. No, because like if, but so see, if Nike came to you right now, I was like, Guru. If it was the 90s, yes, because everybody was open minded. And now people are so shallow and so narrow minded when it comes to certain sneakers. But there are enough people you, that people just want would their clown. Own shoe. Uh, Off-White would have got clown for doing Air Monarchs or to doing whatever. I don't else. know. They didn't get clown for these. Yeah, well, that's because it's all Vapor Max, popular model. Jordan 1's popular model. He did all that he popular all made shoes. Look, that he destroyed every last one of them. <laughs> took popular shoes and made them look like shit. Man. Do I gotta put a dollar on the box now? Yeah, there you go. I can't say I can't say that's right. Oh, oh, that. What words can I say now? None of that. Just act like you're on ESPN. Oh, How about that? Trump, Trump is voice of like, <laughs> Act like you're on ESPN. There you go. I, Keep get, the profanity out. I'm gonna get better for you, JV. Now get better for yourself, not not me. <laughs> Killing your brain, not cells, me. son.
Uh, <laughs> oh, hey. Oh, you know what? We're else? moving. We're moving. We are. We are moving up. We gotta. We, we gotta, gotta do better. Gotta clean it up. Um, another un- ugly honorable mention. Uh, is oh. the. Let's do this. Go on. Are you? Now say oh, this because I swear you. You said I said it wrong the last time. How do you say it? The vitamins. Vetmont. Vetmont. Oh, this is America. The vitamins. It's pronounced. It looks like Jordan. a Jordan Trenner. Vitamins special edition Reebok. It's the Pump Fury collection. I ain't like none of these either. Yeah, what happened like to my screen? Trend. Did it freeze? You broke it. Uh oh. These vitamins oh, broke oh, my oh. screen. There they go. Whoa. Oh, oh my god. That was bad. Oh my god. This. Oh, oh <laughs> yeah. my god. What is this? Man. The what Air, is this? The Air Jordan One Off White should not be on the same IPS mm-hmm. server as this shoe. Man, you sound oh, crazy. Wow. And, and, not at all. <laughs> yes, they should. <laughs> not not at even all. same yes, computer, be, same building, not same they street. No, you're right. They belong in the same trash can. Not at no. all. Uh, Come on. Whoa, look, look, at look at the price, though. Look, look at the price. $655 to $894, I just depending rock, on. I just rock my trainers. I'll go barefoot. Wow. I'll rock my trainers. <laughs> Which one of these? That looked like the Jeter. The white ones look that like the like Jeter trainer. Are those 800? Was the black ones? Oh, the, either one. They look like Yo, the Jeter uh, trainer. Quick question. Why aren't you wearing shoes, caveman? <laughs> Wow. Uh, so wow. this shoe is at least six hundred and what now? Six fifty five. So those bottom ones are like nine hundred. This is at least who's paying six hundred and Th- no. This white one I think is the higher price one because there's leather and stuff on it. Really? So I think these two top ones are the six fifty five. These two. So you paying eight? Oh, come on, man. Why? Why? Once again, name, name, name. Like I'm tired. I'm over it. Because wow. you got a name, don't mean I got to buy your stuff. I mean, it's a select, oh, it's a yeah. select few people that, like, that might like, like Mr. It. Wilson off Dennis the Menace. No. <laughs> That's what you're I'm acting like. You're like, get off my grass with your off-whites. I'm like, man, no. I, I'm acting like somebody. If it, if it didn't come out after it before turn my sprinkler system on. It ain't got nothing to do with that. Like, I am acting like somebody with eyes and um, money in their pocket. Because people would, be, because, like, like, people would just, like, say, bro, you said off-white ones are terrible and you like the KD7 ponies. You know, man, like, that, that is the oldest. That is the I will oldest never let shit. You go that. that is so old. That shit was terrible. That is so, I said it was terrible. When did I ever defend it? That is like the old. That's two years old. One, two. <laughs> I never defended it. I never said go buy this shoe. This is dope. I said it was weird enough for me to buy for a hundred dollars. That's it. This shoe was trash. That shoe was trash. I, I stay consistent. But you bought it though. I stay consistent. It was a hundred dollars. It was a hundred dollars. If it was that trash, if it was six hundred, I said it was wood enough for so me to buy. So you would bought them off whites if they was a hundred dollars. No, I wouldn't bought those. Okay then, so you I wouldn't bought those. <laughs> I wouldn't have bought those for hundred. I wouldn't. I mean, if somebody gave them to me, I still no, because I gotta wear them. <laughs> I probably would have gave. I probably would have flipped them for something I wanted more. You a funny dude, man. And the crep can't fix those. There's no protecting those. <laughs> I wouldn't even waste crep on that. Especially, I mean, these going for eight hundred dollars. No, those no, are bad. No. These are horrible. I wish they, yeah, no. I'm just, man. I'm just like I said. I'm just over people just thinking I'm gonna slap my name on something and people should buy it. Like I'm just over that. Like, dog. Like if y'all, if y'all, I mean, if people are, you know, that moved by a name where it's like, well, I don't really like it, but they say I gotta buy it, so here's four hundred dollars. Well, you know, more power to you. I think here's here's the problem with society. Let me make sure I record this little jewel right here. Oh, there you go. Oh, no, it's uh, not like we got like ten cameras in the studio already. Um, I can't. You know, listen to me. Um, I feel like fame is when people know who you are, and then notoriety is when people know who know you for your work. I think that line in today's society has been blurred greatly. Oh, by far. That's, That's why Cash Me Outside Girl got a. Uh, Contract, but my thing is when you look at her analytics, though she had 21 million views and like she has the following. So even though someone else is more talented, yeah, if I put money into your music, but who's actually going to buy it? She could be trash, but if they put five million and, she, and they bring and uh, she brings it back 10 million, even though she's trash, that's still a good investment. So, but what we have Business to look wise. at is start stop blaming the artist and stop and start blaming, blaming them. society. I agree. To start blaming society. Society is why these people, why she has an audience, why she yep. blew up from that foolishness. You know what I'm saying? Did you know what we used to call that back in the day? 15 minutes. You used to have 15 minutes. You'll get like two weeks at tops, right, where mm-hmm. people are talking about you, and then we'll quickly realize you have no talent worth talking about. Bye-bye. We won't hear from you ever again. Now with social media, people have elongated that 15 minutes and are now branding themselves. And they have followings, and that's why you know, like you just said, like I'm not, I don't blame the artist. I don't blame an artist who's trying to create something and develop their their talents and their skills. I don't because it's not their fault; it's out of their hands. I blame the companies, and I blame the people. 
I'm blaming the people, like you said, more than I do the companies, because the companies are going to do what they do. They're going to make money. That's what they're in it for. I blame the people because y'all actually, y'all justify this stuff. Y'all facilitate these brands and these companies reaching out to people like Catch Me Outside Girl, giving her a, a music contract. When she, Has she ever sung or did anything musical in her life? She has a song. One, once a song? A song. But all it takes is one song to blow up now. It, it, we're in that age where all you need is one song. One, one song to get you on, bro. Yeah, that's one it. song yeah, give before me a meal. you. Give me a meal. Well, yeah, that's, I mean, look at look at some of these big rappers now. Like, Oh, my God. But it, it, all, it takes you that one song to cross over. Yes, mm. Cardi been rapping. had two mixtapes. She has other mixtapes where she's rapping like a dude killing it. But it took for that song to put her into another stratosphere. Mm, mm, mm. Migos were always popular. Versace took them. But once Bad and Bougie came out, it took them to... The other side. Even with Jay. Jay had songs. Jay was Jay spitting hot songs. fire. We're, we're on from all that on volume one, but when volume two came out and that uh, Hard Knock Life with the Annie sample, it took them to a whole nother level. Yeah, so, that's all you need is one song. Like, I looked at uh, when that freshman list came out earlier this year, and I tried looking up all those people, and all I freshman, found was, like, one freshman song. Freshman list is garbage because now it's more of a popularity. Which one of these those are more appealing to the masses now? Everybody Opposed to talent. Because you look like five, well, being popular ago. and being talented are two different things. But now yeah. society sees us you being popular is a talent because not everybody can draw the amount of attention that you can draw. Right, but all you got to do is be crazy enough sometimes. And I'm saying everybody, but all you got to do is say something crazy, dress crazy, act crazy, and that's enough to get people's attention. Like, now you can literally be that car fire on the freeway that's blocking traffic, and you got what you call social media gawker delays where people will go and watch you just to see what type of foolishness you do next. And once again, I'm over it. Like, you know, Shout you know. out to Mr. Love Song with his uh, outfit reviews, man. Those Who? things get me through my day. Who? What's the love song? Mr. Love song. The guy who stands on the porch, like, what's going on Instagram? Where are he stick his leg out, show out his outfit? Oh, mm-hmm. that guy. Yeah. That guy. Yeah, that guy was funny. It's, yes, bro. And he's he has a lot of self confidence, but he just he's good spirit. It makes me laugh. So yeah. shout out to him, Mr. Love song. Yeah, that guy was funny. I saw him. He had on some uh it was some team George he had on. He was like, These ain't British Knights. Sorry. Yeah. This, yeah. Is, yeah. <laughs> this is uh Jordan. Sorry yeah. to bust your bubble. <laughs> I like that guy. Billy, yeah, Billy, D, Billy that, D5. The hot butter. The hot We're playing butter. the Air Force. I'm just bullshit. No, I'm yeah. not. <laughs> the Air Force. Isn't that oh, who no. they are? Yeah, it's yeah, Air, Air Force. Force. Yeah, I know. But, I mean, you read it. Now, now can you say no. a city like hell? All right, so we're going to take a quick break. We're going to come back with the news. How about, about, what about the random piece of resistance? Yeah, I'm just going to skip all that. Right. Spoiler alert, it was all Hender Scheme Adidas. Yeah, <laughs> right, man. $1,000 for them, They had some hardness go for three fifty too. I was like, what? Barry White Ranger here. You all know that I entertain a great deal. And when I'm out and trying to make my best impression, my ensemble is never complete without a really great pair of sneaks. Like me, you can keep your kicks in the best shape possible, simply with crap. Just a spray or two of crap, a quick brushing, and voila. Yeah, that was French. And my sneaks are protected from spaghetti, or a fine bottle of Chianti, or even a splash of mud while I help my special lady out of her chariot as we make our way back to my humble abode. You may not entertain as much as I have the opportunity to, but when you do, make sure that what you got on your feet looks its best with crap. Take it from Barry White Ranger. You won't be sorry, and neither will she. It's your boy DJ Clark Kent, Brooklyn's finest, New York Giant, the ATF General. You are listening to Sneaker Box Podcast on SneakerBarDetroit.com. Hey, this is Michael Smith from ESPN, and you're listening to the Sneaker Box Podcast. Yeah. Yo, 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 what's up? Um, we're back. Um, Jumpman just handed me the, what are these again? Which, I can't think of the They call them the Cement. The Cement 8s. Great 8s. Um, yeah. They came out today. Now, on them, I could have. Could have waited. They sitting like, yeah, you they, sitting like <laughs> they sitting like hot cakes. Hell yeah, yeah. But yeah. to me, you know, it's, it's something I want. I'm you love the eights. Yeah, I'm, I mean, why risk guy. Right, right. I mean, I, why I'm risk sure they're going to be. What size they is it? They're going to be 14. 14, yeah. yeah. But. Um, 
don't know why risk it. I mean, I feel you on that. Um, it's too many being produced. I was talking to someone last night, and we had a long conversation about this. Mm-hmm. Jordan Brand, and and some other brands are shooting themselves in the foot by mass producing shoes. They trying to cut out the reseller, which you can. We've talked about this before on the show. Right. They keep oversaturating the market. Right. With shoes. Right. They should cut back to four or five releases a year and hit some quick strikes. Now and, I, and and make it a challenge to get the shoes. See, I I'm gonna have to disagree. Well, one, I agree with you on the point of maybe limiting the amount of releases. So yes. instead of coming out with a release every weekend, yes, that's what I mean. Come out with like maybe two at the most, right? Two what a, a month? A month, two a month, right? Because okay. then you can space it out, and you're not killing your designers or trying to come up with a new colorway every week. Um, on top of that, uh, like as far as the pairs, I feel like because it's funny, like perception is reality. So like people see shoes sitting, and they automatically think, okay, well that means that they're not doing so well, which. I can understand. However, even if the shoes do eventually go on sale, whether it's at uh, Foot Locker or if it's at the outlets, right? Nike is still making. They got their money on Yeah, they, they making way more money than they would have made because now they're selling it through the sneakers out. Now they got the outlets or whatever. So they used to sell a wholesale to the different brands. Now they're selling it direct to the consumer. And so even if they sell it from, if it goes from like 200 to like 160 Mm-hmm. They're still making like a ridiculous amount of money or a ridiculous amount of profit compared to what they used to, so in that in that regard, they're still winning. However, um, I just think I, I just I hate to say go back to limited because I honestly, as a consumer, I mean I love the fact that they said because that means either one I still get a chance to get it or I can get it cheaper. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I mean, so as the consumer, like if you're the brand, if you're the business, you know I can see you having your point of view, but as the consumer. Having more options, I ain't never passing that up. Like I sat on the Pinnacle Ones. They were $400, the white ones. Oh, did you? And, and But I got them at the Nike outlet for $299. Like, see, winning. But I waited. Right. And that's the good thing about having the shoes that are uh, maybe overproduced or um, the pricing. Right. Where they, they're now going to the outlets. Yep. So now I've always used that hashtag patience because now with other people going over to Adidas and and selling their Jordans to 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 go after these Adidas and stuff, I've been able to to cop like five shoes <laughs> that I have been looking for I mean, for years because of that. And let's not act like either uh, Tupac can have a nose ring too. But no, like let's not act like shoes wasn't sitting before either. Jordans used to sit. Oh yeah. Even back in the day. Yeah. Like I'm, the ones, remember when they first retro the ones, the twos and the threes? They all sat, mm-hmm. you know. Um, Even shoes they're coming out with next year, yeah, the mochas. They exactly, sat, they, they sat. sat, but now people want them, so they like, oh, let's 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 make the mochas, but they're probably still gonna sit, yeah, too. And you know what? Speaking of which, uh, we'll get to some of this news that kind of leads me to some of this news topics. Mm-hmm. Uh, real quick, news brought to you by Eight Nine Manufacturing Company. Eight Nine with quality meets design. Uh, check out the collection of sneaker-based apparel by going to their website at 89.com. Make sure to use promo code TSBP to save yourself an extra 20% off of your purchase. No, the mocha sat because That was like the they most sat. Evil, like the least sought after retro three. Yeah. At the, uh, I mean, now it's probably ridiculous hype surrounding it but um i don't know when the hype happened like i remember it, it just went a long time without it coming out but yeah i say in 2006 really because i remember when it first came out it was just kind of like oh okay. with the thunder and the lightning that's when people really start going crazy in the in the dmp pack and yeah stuff like that um but you know we talked about the mocha threes coming out uh nike is also set to re-release the air max 98 next year for its 20th anniversary um the He Got Game Air Jordan Retro 13s are coming back out next year. They just came back out, what, like 2012? Yeah, see, that's what I don't understand. Why? Like, dude, there's so many other shoes. Like, honestly, like, I mean, they could have came with the Olive Nines. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of shoes they could have came out with that they haven't come out with the Shadow 10s. Ginger 14. Ginger. I just had those on the other day. Um, 
the Lightning Four. What's the uh the um what's the sixteens that MJ had in Florida? Cherrywood. 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 Sixteens and the ginger. The ginger. Um, they have shoes that they can come out with. Matter of fact, since Nike is just intent on just bastardizing that Jordan one, just continue come. Just give us the purple and the green ones and the gray ones. I'm trying to think, all the OG colorways. Just continue giving us all the OG colorways and put them in a vault somewhere. Like just stop after that. Um, they could even re-release. Give us the original Air Jordan Two. Exactly, like Scarlet with, with that Italian leather. About, yes, and, and MJO and the box. Then yes, yes. With, I mean, and make it the true colorway. And I understand that they try to make it off to show respects to to the originals. But if they want to re really truly 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 remaster a shoe. Make it the same specific color, but they won't do it because and they, the height. Please give us the height, not that 2004 stuff you tried to pass off. Give us, well, you, you know, what would be dope is their current mm-hmm. um, players. Yeah, you know Westbrook, um, um, Kimball Walker, so forth and so on. Why yeah. don't you do a city pack with them? That would be. But dope. do bring back the city pack tens. That would be in the current but you don't have Seattle. Of, well, was Seattle yeah. part of that pack? Yes. Yeah. So Seattle, so New York, Orlando, Chicago. Mm-hmm. So I guess they can – who's green? I mean, not that they have players on those specific teams, but they could. Yeah. No, they could bring that city pack. I need them. But they, Sac- they could the even Knicks, get – The Sacramento's Knicks and Sacramento and the Orlando's, man. Yeah. yeah. I saw – I found a – I even like the Knicks, too, though. I mean, just bring back the whole pack. Yeah. <laughs> they should bring back – they should bring back that, that pack and just – Because they came with that whack pack. A couple years ago. I mean, yeah, the international pack. It, it, the Wait, international ones it was, were the better ones out of the pack. I was going to say the Shanghai and the uh, Paris joints was yeah. by far the two best. Yeah, them Purple Rain boys was cold. Yes. Um, so, yeah, so the He Got Games are supposed to be coming back out. I guess it's supposed to be – is it is it an anniversary next year, the 20th anniversary for the movie or something? Is that what it is? Yeah, I believe. Okay, so what? So they didn't but know they that just, two years ago or yeah. how, what, three years ago? Yeah. Just could have saved it for that. Um, and give us the Flint Blues in the playoffs, please. Like, quit pushing that back. Because it's supposed to come out this month, but it is not. Um, Scrapped again. Yeah. But, you know, they are coming out with the uh, the 32, which I'm looking forward to. I'm actually looking for, That's probably the first Air Jordan I've looked forward to. The new. A new Air Jordan that I've looked forward to in a while. In a while. I hope they make a 15. I know, right? Like they, <laughs> well, it got flying in, so it's, it, it should stretch. Um, but uh, so we got the Mochas, uh, got the LeBron 15s. I already know you you love those. I'm surprised. Francis. What's up? You seen the LeBron 15s? Nah. You haven't seen. What are you doing you in a week? Put them in a, you put them in a group chat. Oh, yeah, those, 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 the the, the, the grandma couch ones. The floor. It was, it was four. It was like four of them. And yeah, no, was, I like those. That's the, yeah, the, he said like the a grandma or, couch. One. Yeah, they, no, I like those. They initially called the Oreos, now they call it like he the liked, ash. He, he liked to see the print underneath the, the plastic on the couch. I do. I've always wondered, like <laughs> my grandma. Make, used to make your booty sweat. Always had, like, <laughs> tape all over it. Sh- <laughs> you could hear somebody getting up. Yeah. <laughs> You yeah. hear the skin peeling sitting off the on couch. Sitting on my couch again. Yeah. You better not be eating on my couch. No, I like those. It sounds like somebody getting. Wet. I, re- I really do like those LeBrons. You do? Yeah, I really do. The floral ones, I really do like those. No, I'm, mm. I'm like so over those yeah. too. Put them in the trash with the. With no, I like those. Uh oh. Put them in the trash with the uh, off whites and the vitamins. Uh oh. Vitamin. Vitamin. That's that right that time. Vitamin. You get in there. Quit adding T's in there, then. Just say Vitamin. Just V E M O N. Vitamin. It would make sense. It would. Yeah. No, I it's really, I really do. Phonetically, like it would make sense. They got upcoming colorways. Let's awesome. see what these Let's upcoming see what they colorways. Got going on. Let's see what these upcoming. See where colorways. my money's going. Um, I'm looking up sneaker party trade right I now. I thought you retired I, for sneakers. I, I, mm, I didn't get that grail. Oh, What's the you, grail? You, you didn't. You ended up I not getting it. It uh, it it shot up like within the last like. I got outbid. I, my highest bid was like 15, and I think it went for like 16 and some change. What's your grail? Uh, um, it was a glass straw blazer. I've been looking for this shoe for 13 years, and it finally popped up on eBay. What was your bid? Free? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I had like, uh, I think I, I went, I went, I, I did the, the, the 350, which was a starting bid, and then I went to like six. Oh, so six. they had no pictures. They just got the names. Uh, nine, and then ultimately like I was 15 and some change, and I got sniped, so... Oh, somebody underbid you at the last second? Yeah, someone over, like, it was 
it was heartbreaking, but I was gonna retire after I bought it. Loki, that's all I am on eBay. Like, I would like four seconds left. Retire. Do you uh, officially retire? Because Jay Guts, Jeremy Guthrie, said he retired. Yeah, I and was. He get, got the off white ones, and he's. I was already trending. Oh, that was it. Because I was. Cause I, was uh, I started. I started buying up sock darts, like just just to have, because I think they're great shoes, and I, that was gonna be. I was gonna just go for comfort over Damn. everything else. I ain't going nowhere. Because you're a liar if you think forces are comfortable. Like, yeah. <laughs> I don't care what, what anybody forces? says. Air Force ones are not comfortable. No. No. Not at all. Um, yeah, this, so there's no colorways yet. Of Go back to those grandma couch ones. I want to see those. All right. The grandma, <laughs> grandma couch. couch. That's the Kiff one. That's not the record. That's the, his collab with Kiff. But That's I, part of that Nike pack. Um, I also like... Um, Speaking of which, those Scotty Pippas was trash. The red ones were called the purple ones. No, I'm talking about that cheetah... Oh, the Pippin 2 is the cheetah print on Those Ashes ones are, are whack, but those floral ones are dope. Oh, you want the floral ones? I like those. I'm straight on those, too. I'd wear those. I don't know how I'd wear those, but I'd wear those. Yeah, I'm good. Like, I feel like you got to be rich to wear these. Like, where you so rich where you don't care what nobody that's says. because that's the one part, but, like, laced up is fine. Like, I like them. <laughs> like, I like those, too. Like, if you're just a normal dude going to, like, Best Buy. <laughs> <laughs> but if it's a Keth one, I, no one's getting them. You were getting roasted yeah, in line. Yeah, it's a Kith, so I mean, it's not like this is a GR. No, I wish. I mean, I'd buy those. I like those. Listen, Kith, mess, he made mistakes too. And this is one of them. But yeah, See, I mean, who, who gets it right, Cedar? Let me know who gets like, it right. Though? I, I could tell you right now, these do. All they did was give you a KD10 with a taller upper and some weak ass floral print, like in a zipper. That's all they did. Like I'm, there was nothing new about this shoe. Carl, the shoe got Air Max and Zoom in in the capsule. It's a, it right? looks just like the KD10. It's a battle. Yeah, the KD10. Like all the outsole. shoes, I got a sock liner like that. It's the KD10 outsole with a dumbass floral print and a zipper, and like what looks like mystique skin. How do you, you have know, a shoe collection? How do I have a shoe collection? Because <laughs> yeah, I actually, because I don't I just mean, buy every most, shoe just because it's. You first of all, I pay most of the shoes in your collection. Something that you like, or you. No, I some actually, of them you no, don't really like. No, I actually buy shoes I like. I don't just yeah, buy it just because it has Jordan or LeBron. Somebody or, could just how you or, ripping somebody for this LeBron whatever. Which if I was showing somebody LeBron fifteen, it wouldn't mm-hmm. be this colorway. But if you're gonna rip somebody for this though, like you, people can rip you for your Adidas roses, your Derrick roses. Like, you can go ahead, right? But exactly. Thing, but you would feel the same way, Caesar. If somebody, no, I would sell. I would. You know what I would tell them? Some Reebok ventilators or whatever the garbage is, and they were standing in them Reebok ventilators okay. and telling you how your flu games were trash. You would rip them to pieces, correct? It would be a fun debate. No, it would not. It would be a fun debate. Like, <laughs> okay, you fine. You entitled to your opinion. Like, I'm not saying like you could try to come and say the flu games are horrible, but you would have to say why. You can't just say. They are horrible, and then just leave it at that. That's and that's not horrible to you because of the floral. Print I think print the, first of all, the floral print. I'm not. This is I, I, get, a, I mean, this is I a, give whoever stitched that because that's actually stitched, not just screen printed on. So as far as uh, the the work they put in putting that on a shoe, because I don't know how you did that. That just looked like it took hella work to do. So kudos to whoever did that. Now, what about the other? But as far the as the shoe itself, that you've seen. I wasn't impressed. Would not with any no. of them. Okay. No, I mean I only seen two. I've no, I seen three. I seen this. That ash I seen one. the ash one, and then I seen the other skin tone one. That um, ash one looks just like a bad custom. What was, that ash one was just horrible. That, first of all, if you're gonna leak a picture, don't leak that. Um, what was the other one? It was like a tan. It was the ghost oh, one. Cool. I seen the navy blue. That's one. okay. The I ghost like one. the tan. I like the tan. One. The, the ghost, ghost ones. Yeah, I'm just like, like no. It looks like mystique skin. So like your 15. Like, LeBron it's... 15 can morph into any other shoe. Cause it has mystique skin, but people people complain about how LeBron's running too narrow. They too they run they run too small. Now you got Flynet, which gives them the support you need. But when consumers buy it, it is not that tight fit. See, LeBron has been hit and miss because the LeBron thirteens were tight. I like the twelves. The thirteens were tight, tight, tight. Uh, the fourteens I like too. I like the fourteens. Those didn't feel tight at all. And I'm guessing these probably won't feel tight either. Cause I got a zipper and laces, so you can adjust them accordingly. But yeah, no, nah, straight, good on those. We gotta start voting on this, bro. I ain't gonna I will vote on what? There was nothing to vote. I'm this is about, a new story. I'm not talking about this, bro. I'm talking about the, the like the terrible honorable mentions and stuff like that. Oh, this, I guarantee this will end up on there. I can promise you that. If there's anything I can promise you, 
is that if I'm alive still, this will be on the uh, – this will be uh, uh, on, on, on the Caesar list. It, it will be, the, yeah. It's a Caesar list. No, I'm telling you, I speak for everybody when I say it. these are trash. So we can mm-hmm. all trash the no. shoe, not no. just you and we defend no. it. No. We should this all pick trash. a shoe that we can But that's trash. what creates debate because I'm not about to – I mean, look, I'm not about to pretend these are nice, these are decent. I mean, first of all, they took – once again, they gave you like the Lex Luthor doomsday version of the KD-10. And they just gave you this bastardized version of that and gave you a taller upper. And then it's like, oh, let's throw this couch print on there. And I guess that's enough to woo some people. I mean, I'm not moved by Nobody it. said, here's my thing though. Nobody said that when they took the, was the KD5 elites, when they was like, oh, they just took the K Zoom from LeBron 2s and slapped it. If we them had a show then, I would have said Nobody said that. You can't KD, say nobody said that. That KD, was that the KD9 elites are the exact same shoe as the KD 10s. I just said that before you walked in. Huh? I'm just I'm just saying I'm not just you. I'm just saying like in general when people just oh I like, can't speak for everybody. I'm, I'm just for saying me. like that. That's just I mean these shoes they're all basketball players. They're all tall, so they're gonna have some correlation. So like all the shoes in the '90s had either suede or tumble leather, right. or Zoom Air, or the big fella shoes had Max Air in here. Max well, I'm Air not mad at the fl- I'm not mad at the material fl- used. I'm not mad at flying it. I get it. Flying it is. I'm just be saying, like it's like it's so it looks so much like the KD, but nobody it does the phone posit pros for being a, the same shoe as the phone posit ones, but Nike didn't want to pay. What has always been my beef with the phone posit pro? Penny Hard, Penny Hardaway. So what has always been my beef with the phone posit pro? I don't know, bro. You, I, you, I've said it a million so times. Many shoes, bro. I got. I run out of gigabytes. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, saying, I'm supposed to like. So I'm supposed to like every shoe. I'm no, supposed bro, to like every you shoe. Got this at least is like shoe. one, bro. I name. No, we just did a. If, t- if we I start the show with what? A five, if five. I didn't see your own foot on Instagram, I we, wouldn't know you liked any shoes. Look, we started by lying. <laughs> I <laughs> say that's why. Talking about any shoes that he truly, truly, I say two shoes are trash and like give five other shoes praises, and now I don't like shoes. Hey, well, at least you didn't have a Jordan in there this time. Well, the uh, oh, okay. you did. You had the off whites. Yeah, yeah, you did. Two you, shoes, you two can. shoes out of you can, seven. You can't go without a J. Two every, shoes out of seven. Every show. Oh come on now, Jordan's probably been the five five, probably more so than any. Stop to be. it, man. Oh, I about to, I thought you was about to say they've been the five five. Any other shoe? I mean, if you go back and look, our five five is because overwhelmingly Jordan. Overwhelmingly, I think no way. Yeah, overwhelmingly, Jordans. I mean, we can do it next no next show. Way I will actually look. I need one of our listeners, or I could do it myself. Just as much as you like them, you've the had them. Majo- um, the majority of Fab Five top one has been a Jordan. The majority, the overwhelming majority. No. Yes. No. Yes. I don't. I, no. They was just the Fab Five like two weeks ago. They was the number <laughs> two one shoe. <laughs> it was the Bron- Le- LeBron's was last week. The Zoom generations were last week, and Jordan, and also, only reason why Jordan's on there because he released the most amount of shoes in a month. So that's true. Kind of like the fault, but yeah, that is true. Bro, but you, <laughs> I mean, I'm not about to just like a shoe just because it's Nike or LeBron or Jordan. Like that's dude. what I love about the show. We I know. all we all that's like what we exactly. like, I and mean, we can all sit here I'm just and saying, debate. I, it. I just don't want to listen to him like he hates all shoes. Nah, I, I hate it. Hate you know we go. You know we go. Two shoes. You hate ninety eight percent of shoes. Bro. You know two we gonna shoes. give it. We gonna give it to you. If it ain't an OG on, colorway man. or a I'm not, no, no, I'm not that person either because I like a lot of new colors. I'm wearing the All Star. These ain't OG, and I think they were dope. Super especially, dope, especially for one forty. <laughs> and when you take a picture with the right shine, oh on yes, it's dope. Yeah, is it light outside? Because it looks kind of gloomy. So I was going to try to take some no pictures question. outside, but, you know, whatever. Um, oh, Sears. I wanted to get to this last week. Sears is selling uh, shoes similar to what Walmart is doing, like through a third-party system. That's and I think bad. it's online, though. It's, yeah, it's just Sears Marketplace. That's, but somebody yeah, – go ahead. They uh, – hmm. another. Cut this on for you guys. Another Look, I'm, I'm looking for – I need you guys' help in the sneaker community. What's that? In a size 14. The PSNY, either, either black or olive. No set of 15s, please don't. 15. Okay. Hey, come on You now. weren't able to get those? No. Seriously? No, and I was like, on as soon as I hit 14, boop, sold out. Really? Yeah, as soon as I hit 14, <laughs> sold out. What was they sold out? What were they sold 13, boop, sold out. Oh, that was on that website? Yeah, the, mm, yeah. Okay. That's crazy. Well, that's not it, like the sneakers app right the there. Le- my, the 11 was up there for... I mean, size 8 was up there, yeah. size 9, size... All, all there must little, not have been a but lot But you know, they don't, they don't make as many size 13, 14s as yeah. they do the little, the smaller size. Well, yeah. Because I, I, I had like five minutes to think about it. Sears is in that predicament because they bought Payless, and then Nike told them, if you buy Payless, you losing our account, and they lost their Nike account. So that's why they selling them. Well, they weren't really No, it's selling. just it's just the market. They've been doing it. No, no, I'm just oh, saying. Yeah, 
Oh, okay. This we, is somebody. Uh, this is somebody who. This is from somebody who worked at Sears. They told me that that's why they don't stop care because they, they carry the basic stuff like Coles, them type of Nikes. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, they carry the stuff like that, but that's why they're using the third party because they can't sell. Well, Sears is struggling anyway. They did shut the one over there at McCall. Oh no, no, I'm sorry. I take that back. They bought Kmart. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> why would you buy Kmart? And they, they were closing their stores. Why would I buy a business? Exactly. Like why, that's that's the very thought that just <laughs> ran through my mind. This business is struggling. It is closing its doors. They are not doing anything right. Why would you? It's not like Kmart has had a name that you had to have, like uh, I guess Apple or something. I don't, you know. No, I don't know, man. That uh, that whole Sears marketplace is just like a bazaar. Well, malls in general are getting, or just brick and mortar stores are getting hit hard, um, because you know you got online, you got the internet, you know you got Amazon and such. It was it's too many people. They start losing when. Cold when Walmart started expanding what they oh, selling yeah, they started, when they yeah. blew up and things of that nature. And yep. Macy's, that was the beginning. And Macy's start online sales starting to grow, and it was like, well, we cut the overhead by closing this store down, have everything shipped from the warehouse, and you make know, the same amount of money. I, I blame the same type of thinking though, as far as because I guarantee this is what happened. Well, like places like Sears and and uh, what's other places like Coles, like these big box stores, they probably first of all they probably wasn't paying attention to the trends. Um, until it was too late. And then secondly, talking to a lot of these people, like they have this archaic way of thinking where they're still using principles that may have worked 20 years ago, thinking yeah. that it's like still going to work. And instead of paying attention to what's going on now, like I just had a meeting, and White Ranger knows, just had a meeting with a particular company. I'm not going to mm-hmm. put it all out there. Mm-hmm. And, you know. Was it Froyo? No. Come on. You can say it was Froyo. No, I remember wish. the guy I told you I, I had a conversation with, and he told me that he called yeah. me to tell him not to call him. It wasn't Froyo? No, oh, it wasn't Froyo. Wow. Oh, no, Froyo said, just don't come back. Yes, ah. I ate up all the ice cream. Right. But, wow. yeah, so, like, but they had this way of thinking. It's like, dude, are you paying attention to what's going on now, or are you still stuck in 1990, 19 anything? Like, mm-hmm. you know, it's just these brands, they quick to react. Or, I mean, they slow to react, and then by the time they do react, it's too late. Well, I, I think Sears was uh, brilliant in buying Kmart because uh, they can have their own raves now. Cause they got the blue light. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I used to hit my my parents used to hit that blue light special boy. Oh yeah, you'd be crashing crashing buggies trying to get there. And you marry up the blue light special with the tough skins, man. That's yeah, a whole yeah, buddy. I remember those days. Yeah, but it, I mean, I, but I don't think you'll ever get rid of brick and mortar stores because people I, at the end of the day, people still like going to. The they, want to, they want to touch and feel the product instead exactly. of just looking at yeah. a picture of it. When you get something online now, if it isn't what you thought it was, the hassle of having to return it, yeah, and yeah. waiting, and you but know. that's what they're trying to go to. Well, Where you, I mean, but it's hard. To, like my like my kid, hmm. they're big for their ages. So we, my wife, orders stuff online. Yeah, and sometimes they're like a size smaller than what they should be when you go to the store. Right. Mm-hmm. So you end up having to send it back, and then that takes another seven to ten days. So, yeah, I know that's, what you mean. Man, that's yeah. crazy. Oh, I got to get to this. Uh, your boy, Russell Westbrook, signs a 10-year deal with Jordan Brand. Yeah. Oh, okay, why you think about that? Mm. <laughs> well, my, 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 my thought on this is I, I hope he's influencing the designs or they're allowing him to influence, to influence some designs like James Harden is doing with Adidas. Yes, because well, Russell only wears a certain shoe. Like he wanted a midsole changed. That was a good call on his part. You know, to to his specifications, but they did it for him, but not for the consumers. Yeah. So yeah. they 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 listen to their players. Yeah. How about listening to us? Bring but, us the the original two. But was like he also, Scholard was asked? Wasn't for. that him though with the Westbrook zeros too though? Yes. Yeah. So I mean, that can be hitting me. <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, but that's that that that's no, his I mean, own personal line. He though. should have. I mean, you if know. I'm wearing a shoe, I should have some say. That's for his his like off court character. Yeah, I give you that. You know, so that was that was he should have taken some say shot. though, especially if I'm the marquee guy for this brand. Like I should have. And he is the marquee guy. Now I know people yeah. will gonna argue and say it's still Blake Griffin, but nah. come on now, stop. Just now, nah. <laughs> he's hurt every every playoff season. And even when he's not hurt, I'm not that impressed because yeah. he don't show up when you need him to. Yeah. So. Uh, that team should have did more than what they did, especially with the names they had on paper. So, but uh, it was a lot of dysfunction with that team, and it's more to it than Chris Paul is really. Well, I don't blame saying. any one person. It's definitely a slice of pie for from everybody. the coach, uh, coach yeah. on down. Yeah, you know. So, um, but I mean, but he definitely deserves a slice, though. 
Uh, oh, yeah, he, he, yeah, yeah. But will he stay in Oklahoma City? That's the Who, thing. West, Russ? Yeah. Uh, now, they're saying if he doesn't sign that, that deal by a certain time this year, they may look to move him because yeah. they want to get something him for him. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's going to be we'll a see. mega – it's going to be a mega hookup next year. Everybody waiting to see where LeBron going to go or what LeBron is going to do. Why, though? I mean, honestly, he's getting older. But, man, that man is still a beast, man. I, I, I'm, you, you, you can't, take, you you can't take it from me. You're a beast until you're not. And that's, and that's you know, like, because it, it ain't like you slowly see it. It just hits you. Yeah. Like, what, like, Kobe just went from, like, scoring 30 to 25 to 20. It was, like, 30 he was to injured, 20. He was injured, though. He was injured a lot. What? LeBron, like, what, what's what? He's playing 20 years. Like, what do you but think what, is going to happen? What major injury has LeBron had? Not yet, because he's has, he hasn't been the age he is. And you know, but you know why? His work ethic is like no other. Kobe, so Kobe. Kobe had a work ethic, too. Mike, Mike had a work ethic. Mike was hurt one time. And that was early in his career. Early, before before he really started that work regimen. He started yeah. that work regimen because he was tired of losing to the Pistons. Yeah, and, and shout out to LeBron on that. I mean, he's taking hella care of his body, but at the same time, Father time. Oh, it's undefeated. undefeated. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so at some point, as long yeah, you might have skated this long without any major injuries. And I'm not I'm not wishing injury on anybody, right? Yeah. But because God forbid Guru has some excuse for why Guru didn't jump man. I mean, not uh, jump man, uh, LeBron didn't do what he was supposed to. Yeah. But but no, I'm just saying at some point your age catches up to you, whether it's injuries or whether you just don't have it anymore. And no question. At some point, it's going to hit LeBron just like it hit everybody else. So it's a matter for me is, is he going to stay too long and, you know, we just see it take effect more and more or if he's going to leave before we see old man LeBron out there limping around while these young cats are just dunking all over him. So it would be interesting to watch. But, you know, this season, we'll see. I mean, because he's only, what, like, what, 33, 32? Somewhere around there. Oh yeah, yeah. Thirty-two, thirty-three. Thirty. Yeah, he's hit, he's in the thirty mark. And, yeah. and that's usually old man age in the NBA. So, yeah. So I mean, thirty-two. Yeah. So you're getting there. Mm-hmm. Uh, Which is what backwards? Oh my god. So, so four, so oh six. My god. There you go. With oh that with that Francis man, oh, Southwest no. man. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I want you handling our accounts anymore. That's, that, that's Southwest I-75, man. <laughs> that's that DPS, man. <laughs> we, <laughs> uh, an article written by Daniel Rappaport for Sports Illustrated, Russell Westbrook signed a 10-year contract extension with Jordan Brand, and the deal will make him the highest-paid endorser in the brand's history. Uh, Russell signed with Jordan – exactly. Russell signed with Jordan Brand back in 2013. This new contract will be retroactively applied to this past season. Uh, the deal will also reportedly include a signature on-court shoe and will provide him opportunities to develop off-the-court merchandise, or merch, as Skip uh, so fondly calls it. Um, I wonder what signature model does Russell really like. I know he did one he had the 10s. Uh, well, will he have his own signature shoe, or will he just right. develop will another he, be, Jordan? Ah, I would guess he would have his own signature shoe. Okay, because I know he, they made a 32 for him. I saw that. And Kimball was wearing one, yeah. and so was uh, – Honestly, I only like the two colorways I've seen so far, the red ones and the black ones. I like that Charlotte ones. colorway. And then I, then I, I saw the it. one for uh, – I don't even like the His name is like escaping that. me. The, the point guard for Memphis. Connolly. Oh, uh, yeah. Like Connolly. His, his was dope. I don't think I've seen his yet. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a yeah, gold, um, yellowish color. Oh, pen- shout out to Dwayne Edwards from the Pencil Academy. Uh, his show hit the airwaves with this sneaker design TV show. Uh, an article written by Claire Duffy for BizJournals.com. Pencil Academy founder Dwayne Edwards made his TV debut this week with the Project Runway-esque reality show, or ish, Runway-ish reality show that highlights sneaker designs. The eight-episode series Lace Up, the Ultimate Sneaker Challenge, debuted on YouTube Red this past Wednesday. Uh, Dwayne uh, Dwayne developed the show with the help of the original America's Next Top Model producer, Ken Mock. Uh, the competition brings 12 footwear designers to Portland, where they will be put into teams of four to design, develop, and produce the next great sneaker. Uh, the ultimate prize for the winning team members, a design job at Adidas, and a limited exclusive uh, production run of their own design of an Adidas James Harden sneaker, which Adidas will make available in November. Uh, the shoe will also feature the input of celebrities, models, and athletes. So, 
Uh, I caught the first show. It was dope. Um, I just like seeing sneaker culture just move in all types of new directions, and this is definitely a new direction, and I'm happy to see where it goes. And it seemed like it's in good hands, too, because, I mean, we had him on the show, and he was boring. But he's a good dude. Uh, and Whoa! Sean Pepper, Jason Williams, and D. Wells, also those are good dudes, and I already know the culture's in good hands with those guys. Where's that whistle? Uh, <laughs> too late. I couldn't even get to it. Man. I don't. <laughs> I couldn't even get to it. Oh, uh, man, there are so many things to get to. Yeah, and no, I was trying to go through this. And just oh, like, yeah, oh, I got to talk about this, too. A uh, key innovator, Tiffany Beers, leaves Nike. That's a big deal. Uh, yeah, very big deal. An article written by Brandon Retcher for Soul Collector, uh, Nike special project engineer and senior innovator, Tiffany Beers, has left Nike. Uh, she'll be taking a new position with Tesla. You know, that's 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 a good move for her. Uh, Tiffany bid farewell to Nike via a uh, recent Instagram post. In her time at Nike, Tiffany helped and led some of the company's biggest projects, most recently developing the auto lacing Nike Mag and the Hyper Adapt 1.0. Uh, she also had a hand in bringing Kanye West's Yeezy series to life. Uh, though the parting appears to be amicable, it cannot be overstated how massive a loss this is for Nike, which is looking to regain past dominance in the footwear market. Well, they were looking to release or pass out pink slips to a, a, a lot, lot of people, people anyway, so maybe she saw the writing and decided to skate before. But somebody like her, though, I, you had to think she was I safe. I mean, yeah. I mean, but is, is anybody safe now? I think, you know. Here's my thing is, not. Nike, even though their product isn't selling, they're making the retailers buy more products. So mm -hmm. it's like, like to appease their stockholders. So it's like... My stuff not selling, but if you want to keep your Nike account, you got you got up your buying from eight hundred thousand to nine hundred fifty thousand. It's right. like they bullying people. Though. Yeah, just so, and then you you making the retailer buy more, and then you're cutting at your staff. So where's the money going? Right. That you got extra money because you're making them buy more product, and then you're cutting them. So what you doing the extra money? Right. It's just some of that stuff, man. It's just like come on, yo. Like cut some of that. Big time pay, and you got the NBA contract. You about to eat off of that because people are excited about that. You're gonna make some money. It's just that you, they just I don't know. Nike is Nike. <sighs> Nike on Nike. Uh, Reebok signs Ariana Grande. Uh, what? Makes sense. I, I know, right? In an article written. <laughs> Why not? Oh, you, what you like the way she looks or something? I know, that, not people are just going to. That's all just, looks. That's, that's what it's about? <laughs> now it's just a stampede to Reebok, wow. to a re, the nearest Reebok store. Uh, an article written by Brendan Doom for Soul Collector. Reebok has added to his roster of celebrity endorsers with the addition of singer Ariana Grande, uh, who Reebok announced as its newest ambassador via social media. Reebok is already trying to capitalize on the signing, instructing his social media followers to click the link in his Instagram bio to purchase the items worn by Ariana in her own Instagram pictures announcing the deal. Uh, according to WWD, the deal will run for a year and will take advantage of the singer's huge social media following. Once, see, that's what we were just talking about that earlier. Like, it had nothing to do with sneakers. About, about she has a following. following. She can help us sell shoes. Let's just give her a shoe or a deal. Um, which, you know, whatever. At least they didn't give her, like, some fake job position, like, you know, a designer I'll, or I'll something or my developer or something. Following. I ain't. Not, not no fake. No. It's just a year long deal, so yeah, so you know, it'll be they, over before we even realize it very quickly. Very quickly, it should well, be off to some other the, shoe. The yeah. way, way that Adidas works, it's like you cut you cutting away at Reebok, but you steady yeah. signing people to them. That's like an epic fail. Yeah, Francis, yeah. Over here. I know that's he was just jamming to this I'm, before he came. This is his pumping up music. He's gonna play that in the car on the way home. Now. Yeah, I'm winded just from waving my arms. And he's gonna, <laughs> and he's gonna wave his arm out the window just like that too. I'm just gonna see this fat yellow arm sticking out the window. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get to a couple of stories and uh, sneaker stories that make you go aw. Um, real quick too. While I'm thinking about it, um, we definitely want to send our prayers to the people that are dealing with the hurricanes. You had Harvey uh, the weeks before, and now you just had recently had Irma, and I believe there's another Harvey, hurricane on the way. Mm -hmm. And so you're just getting hit hard from all directions. So definitely want to oh, yeah, send our prayers to everybody down there dealing with that. Reebok signed Gucci, too. Oh, God. Gucci. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They yeah, gave yeah, him the Reebok DMX 10 yeah, to do it, too. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> they even put a snow cone on it. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Hurricane Jose is on his yeah, way. I might, have, I might have to get a pair of those Gucci Gucci's. Yeah, they're That's like, my dog. They're like Gucci. They're like mm. Coke Whites with the, uh, the silver. Snow. It's not. He didn't <laughs> jack it up. So 
I mean, I like that shoe. They should come out with the, actually the OG colors of that, that uh, that navy blue with that bright cherry, and then that navy blue with like that yellowish, that faded yellowish. They bring both of those back. I had a pair of those. I'm like, I can't wait to get another pair. Yeah. Uh, sneakers are to make you go aw. Um, <laughs> Houston's Nar got solo is getting the sneaker community engaged with Hurricane Harvey relief. Uh, in an article written by Ian Stonebrook for Nice Kicks, uh, Houston native Bernard Hartman, better known as Nargasso, is using his craft and his connections to give back during this time of need in Southeast Texas. Um, starting a GoFundMe page with at CassidyW83, at Crispy Souls, and other friends, the high school hoops teammate of George Keel is using his paintbrush and power to give back directly to the power to the people of Houston. I'm sorry. All donations will go 100% to families impacted by the storm. Uh, the funds will be spent obtaining resources and essential items needed by hurricane victims. In addition, Nargasol can be contacted directly through Instagram for release supplies. He is also accepting all shoes, adult and kids' clothing, toiletries, non-perishable food items, blankets, clean socks, and undergarments, and any other basic living essentials. Um, you can donate money by going to GoFundMe.com forward slash Houston Harvey Relief. Yep, it's right there. Uh, you can just look at the bottom of the screen if you are feeling inclined or charitable to help our brothers and sisters down in the southern states getting hit hard with these hurricanes. That's where you can go. Or that's one of the places you can go. I know also D. Wells has, um, he's working with some charity because um, you know, also the Virgin Islands, he has family there. So we definitely want to keep him in our prayers as well. Um, you yes. had uh, Tim Duncan, he got really involved with that whole process too um speaking of ch what's good charity. og sneakers speaking of charity oh rihanna uh oh. Rihanna, rihanna's latest finney creeper releases for a good cause uh, an article written by brandon doom for soul collector rihanna brought her puma Sir. fenty love label and the clara lionel foundation together for a special creeper release uh, the white black Puma Fenty Creeper released this past Thursday. Proceeds from the sale went to the Clara Lionel Foundation, which supports education and health programs globally. Uh, Rihanna founded the nonprofit, named after her grandparents in 2012. Um, as of yesterday, there was still some pairs left. Uh, so I don't know if you listen to the show, still have a shot, but you know, never hurts to go look. Give it a go. Yep. Um, I do want to do it this week in Stupid, though. Which uh, one? Oh, this one is funny. Are you stupid or something? I'm as stupid as a stupid does. The Charlotte Hornets are giving away Air Jordans. Doesn't sound stupid, right? Oh. <laughs> I'm listening. Yep. An article written by Mike DeStefano. I think I was it's pronounced it. Gordon. How am I supposed to say it? I used one to play it. Mike DeStefano for Soul Collector. Got somebody new up for Soul Collector now, right? Uh, in an effort to promote the team's Pick 12 season ticket plan for the 2017-2018 season, the Hornets announced via Twitter that they are giving one lucky fan the chance to win some Air Jordans. Aww. Are they the newest retros? Just one. <laughs> are they the newest retros? Nope. How about a special Hornets colorway? Nope. All right, I'm with you. Autograph? Yes. Hell no. Oh, okay. Fans have a chance to win a GS Pink and Gray Air Jordan 12 and a pair of highly coveted Air Jordan Fusion 12s. In their size of the choosing. Who's doing this giveaway? <laughs> they need a behind whoop for that. They give away Fusion 12s. Yeah. That's terrible. Let's man. find an old crap piece of shoe and let's give it away to somebody who has money. <laughs> There's audio of the meeting. It's brilliant. We can do it and we can Come on, make man. a lot of money. Come on now. Hey, they're giving away. Come on, Mike. Look, Come you know, on, like Mike. I tell you, bro, it's the, the people who are in tune with the culture are not there. Come on, Mike. The, look, I mean, Stop, look. Man. I mean, think about it. You can get tickets to a, a Hornets game and some fusions. I'm, I'm think about that. I'm I mean, that sounds like right a win-win to me. I don't know about you. Uh, I mean, who's the, turning that down? They could have given away. Come they on. Gave away. Hornets Popcorn. tickets and fusions? Yeah. Yeah. Popcorn and a hot dog I don't know. and a soft drink and I, a pair of hey. shoes and tickets. That might be a better package. A Just tell them they get free hot dogs and beer. <laughs> they might, you might have more people respond that way. Um wow. Are they desperate? I mean, wow. first of all, who still has Fusion 12s to give away? 
They did. That they haven't given away already. My thing is, I it, have. This the taxi well, one. I'm just saying, they <laughs> walked in the vault, right? And they the walked fusions. past the ones, three, four, five signatures, all these shoes, even current shoes. They walked past <gasps> the off white ones. They walked past the OVOs. They walked past the Russell Westbrooks. Why not? They walked past the Air Jordan Man. 32s. The yeah. Could've, yeah. Campbell Walkers. They, they, I mean, he had on them was dope. The they could have gave us some, some Hornet 32s. That that would have been promotion for the new shoe that you're trying to sell that's coming out. But who am I? I'm and it's sure. Hornet related, but you know. Uh no, you can get you some fusions though. Like so if you are dying to have some fusions in your collection. The only reason why I can see them doing this, the only reason, this is a slim chance, is What's that, that they're tired of PEs and things that are given away just for promotion being sold. That's the only because they know no one's going. Oh, because they know that you can't sell this. Nobody Nobody wants it. So that's the only reason. That's the only (laughs) slender blender, whatever chance. Maybe they did this. That would be so hilarious if that was really their train of thought. Like this shoe is so crappy that nobody wants. We know you can't sell it, and you'd be stuck with it. Because they really want your shoes, like on samples. You could give it away and then write it off in your taxes. So I mean, I guess it's it has some monetary value that way. I just signed up for the. You can write off forty dollars of your taxes. I just registered for the giveaway. Oh, yeah. So if you want to register for the giveaway, let me find it. Uh, if you're looking to shoot your shot, <laughs> you can register to win the Fusion Air Jordan 12s. Shot by taken. Going, by going to NBA.com forward slash Hornets forward slash pick 12 plan Jordan giveaway. That might be the worst giveaway I've ever if heard of in my I life. If I win it, I'll bring them into the show, and then we give them away for the show. I We'll get no calls. I'll probably be I'll probably be only one that would that would take him. I I have a lot of the fusion. I like the fusion. I, I like these. I know Jumpman was stepping to the hallway night. and calling somebody else. I, I like yeah, the fusions, I mean, but but come on, it's man. just that they could do yeah, better. They could do better than that. But that was what I mean, you know when Jumpman Bostic is not even putting up a fight. You know <laughs> I mean, when he's come on, come you know on, when he's man. defeated like <laughs> you did something wrong. Come on, man. that's that's a garbage giveaway. Yeah, that was just dumb. And uh, how much time? Okay, you know I'm gonna get on this real quick. Looters hit Foot Locker during Hurricane Irma. Oh man, I saw that picture. Yeah, I just want to touch on this real quick. Yeah, that hit it when it yeah. rained. They, they didn't even take any snow. crap. No, <laughs> no, not at all. They needed that Everybody for them knows shoes. You never go full retail. Man, they did. Uh, an article written by Mike DeStefano for Soul Collector. Hurricane Irma hit the state of Florida this past week, causing many people to either ev- evacuate the area or seek emergency se- shelters. However, a select few decided they could go outside during the storm looking to take advantage of the empty streets and closed retail stores to add a few pairs of sneakers to the collections. In a video posted by Inside Edition on YouTube, looters can be seen walking in and out of a Miami area footlocker, taking dozens of pairs of sneakers. Various pairs of Adidas, and I love this part, that they were able to even tell you what was stolen. Various pairs of Adidas and Fila sneakers, as well as a Nike Kyrie 3 and Nike PG1. Uh... All look to be part of the haul based on the video footage. I mean, if you're still in feelers, you kind of walking out with a negative. But uh, actually, they've really been settling quite well, to be honest with you. Have they? Yeah, they have. The new ones? Uh, no, they, they brought about all the school, old school ones. Oh, I don't know. People still wearing feelers. Shout out to them. The nine people caught on camera. Hey, have... hey man, I'm wearing some for, for sneaker con. I'm wearing the Grand Hills. Oh, shoot your shot. Oh, t- Grand Hills. I mean, that's like the one shoe that's, well, it's like three shoes that I could think of that's worth buying for feelers. Uh, the nine people caught on camera have since been arrested in connection to the incident. Uh, there's a number of ways. There's, first of all, there's a number of points I want to make. One, it's the hurricane. It's the middle of a hurricane. It's in the middle of one of the worst hur- hurricanes up to that point on record. I'm telling you, baby, that's not mine. No, that's not a good enough alibi. So, in the middle of a hurricane, instead of finding shelter, instead of getting a safety. Your idea is to go to Foot Locker and steal some shoes. That's one. Two, they rolled up on, like, seeing the videos, they were within feet of these people recording them. It would be at that point where I'm, like, running off trying to hide my face. These people continue stealing as if they're not being recorded, as if nobody was going to go back to the tapes and find out who they were and arrest them. And it looks like all nine people were caught and oh, like arrested. Prison food. And penis. That goes for the men and women. So, um, I, and it's beyond me. Like, and then I had some people on social media like, well, you don't understand the circumstances. They might have been stealing for food. 
You but, don't steal sneakers for food. You steal. I, okay, so why they didn't go to the grocery store and just steal the food? Well, stealing right. is bad. Period. Let's it is. Honest, it so, really is. I'm just saying. I, only advocate. reason why I can see them. This is another only reason. It's gonna be. Should have an only oh reason. Oh my segment. god! I would love to hear this. Only reason why I can say that because a lot of people are fed up with not winning <laughs> raffles at these stores. You know what? I'm even a trivial. These people are pissed. So they was like. They probably was running rigged raffles, and they that karma came. Is that back. a priority in the middle of a hurricane? I'm just saying. I'm not. Of course not. I'm just saying. <laughs> I okay. know. I'm just saying. I'm like, trying I mean, to give you at least a sometimes a devil's advocate bit, explanation. Yeah. I get it, but I mean, hurricane. That's all I gotta say. Hurricane. The last thing I'm thinking about is Jordans. I'm not even thinking about the stuff I own, let alone something I can go steal. Once again, if you okay, so yours. If your justification for it is they're stealing the shoes. So they can sell them to make money. Okay, first of all, they steal them in the middle of a hurricane. Where are they going to store them at that isn't flooded or going to destroy the shoes in the middle of this hurricane? Second of all, if you're stealing the shoes to make money after the hurricane for food, why not just buy the food outright or steal the food outright? How about this? How about just rob a bank? The, sh- the shoes make <laughs> way <laughs> more sense than the looters I saw carrying electronics, and, like TVs and stuff. And, oh, yeah. And yeah. <laughs> taking shoes carries a less offense than taking money. Maybe, I, listen, maybe, I'm not going to accuse them of thinking at all. So I'm not let me throw this option in. Maybe their shoes got wet and they had to go get dry shoes. They're, they're so they can go. get wet, too? Like <laughs> so they can get wet. Uh, like you said, are in I the middle of a hurricane. I didn't think quite that far ahead. Places are flooding. Like I said. And I, you're still in, I, I saw I, looters dragging TVs around in the rain, and I was like, yeah. <laughs> Wait, those were TVs? I thought those were shoes. No, no. I thought that was a can of beans. Man, look, it was a bunch of... I, I just couldn't believe it. And then, not to mention, you st- like the the camera crews roll up on you, and you continue to steal, as if. I mean, it's the age. There of, would be no recourse, like as if there would be no consequences. It's the age of boldness. There was probably someone recording it on Facebook. Man, that's live why I'm not going to. Why they were doing them. it? That's why I'm not going to give them the benefit of a doubt by accusing them of being smart in their thought process of okay, well, you know, flip these and I, I hate to say it but I think the uh, folks in Texas had it right when they put up the signs that said you loot you, we, shoot. we shoot hey well, they could have just had Joel Osteen it's justified stand at, and that was before the flood so. they, they should have just had Joel Osteen stand at the door of Foot Locker just denying people no no uh-uh. no, no. no all I know is that I didn't see one single can of crap and I was like these shoes are going to be ruined I just, thinking. I don't know, man. I, I was just, I, I was annoyed because, you know, so many times, and I actually had people saying, like, oh, why do you got them on camera? You didn't catch you. I'm like, listen, like, wasn't, for, look, can we, listen, I'm all for Black Lives Matter. I'm, I, I'll be the first one to tell you that we don't always get a, a fair shake, but man, sometimes we are a world. a show on the New, New Jersey Turnpike for that All Black Dude, Lives Matter. hey, <laughs> listen, but sometimes we are our own worst enemy. Sometimes, Stupid people do stupid things. It's as simple as that. Like, this is not a black and white issue. This is smart versus dumb. This was good versus bad. Like, this was just some people taking advantage of a situation where everybody evacuated because, once again, the biggest hurricane in history is on its way. <laughs> and they try to take advantage of an empty town with no security, no police. You know, I, police, firefighters are obviously in other places. Um trying to take care of things that matter. I'm guaranteeing you Foot Locker was not a list of priorities for them to, like, secure. And people took advantage of that. It's as simple as that. Like, there is yeah. no agenda there. Enough. They didn't have enough security down there. I know they, they reached no. out to retired officers up here and, yeah. and was paying, like, $50 an hour. Mm-hmm. Plus, they were paying to have people um, Re- flown relocate. there or whatever yeah. and put you in what they said was a – a reasonable uh, living conditions. But well, I, I know for well, uh, define my, reasonable uh, living conditions. My uh, my wife's uh, uncle is a officer with the Michigan Humane Society, and they like mm-hmm. caravan down there, and they're sleeping in a ten person tent. Yeah, they're on their way to Florida <laughs> now. Yeah, I was gonna go, you know, but I it just wouldn't work with with the scheduling and picking up the kids and stuff. But well, I, I know that would have been something nice to do. <laughs> I know, I know, uh, people that went down for Katrina. And it was bad news. So. Yeah, yeah. Like FEMA, all right. Right. FEMA, FEMA was paying right now, even though I still don't even care for them. But FEMA was, uh, from what I heard from people I know in Houston, they were paying people like three days after their claim. Oh wow, that's mm-hmm. what's up. All right, uh, let's get to release dates. Brought to you by SneakerBuddyTroit.com, the number one source of sneaker news and release dates. All right, so today, if you're listening live, you have the Airdrop Retro Eight Cement, uh, the Airdrop Retro Five Premium Eris Metallic Camo. 
the Goodwill Lock Special Edition Adidas NMD City Sock Trail. <laughs> you want to pronounce this, Francis? Um, oh, God. On co- co- it's pronounced Gordon. <laughs> On, I'm still An Koku Toshi Jutsu. Uh, sold exclusively at the Goodwill Out. Good, I don't even know how you're going to ask for that shoe. Just ask for the Goodwill Out Adidas NMD City Sock Trail. That's, <laughs> that's uh, a Yeah. Time. Uh, the Nike PG1 USA, the Hannon Special Edition New Balance U520 HNF Fisherman's Blues, uh, the Magenta Skateboard Special Edition Adidas Match Court Collection, the Undefeated Nike Air Max 97 Collection, sold exclusively at Undefeated, the Nike Women's SF AF, uh, Air Force One Mid Orange Quartz, the Nike uh, Special Forces Air Force One Mid Mars Stone, the Air Joint Retro One Low NSGS Legion Green, the Beams and Meta Sneakers Special Edition A6 Gel Light 3 Souvenir Jacket. That's sold exclusively at Meta Sneakers and Beams. And then you also have the Soulbox Special Edition Puma Champagne Pack. Uh, tomorrow, the Nike Hyper Adapt 1.0 Red Lagoon will be sold exclusively in China at the Nike Hawaii. Hawaii? Hawaii? It's pronounced Gordon. Store, <laughs> the Nike Gangzhou uh, location, and the Nike. It's lo- pronounced Gordon. <laughs> The Nike Lab X One Joe, oh. which is also Kenton, and uh, the first one is Huai Hai. Oh, okay, Huai Hai. That was close. Easy. Uh, Come on, it's I, easy. I, I, you know, some of us haven't been in Asia like some people. Uh, Nike Lab X One Fifty Eight and the Nike Lab DSM PEK, and then you also have the Thomas Mayer Special Edition Puma Roma Nineteen Sixty Eight, uh, releasing tomorrow Sunday. And PEK is. Uh, that's the airline uh, moniker for Peking, which is Beijing. Oh, so nice. the oh. overstreet market in Beijing. There you go. Uh, Monday, September 18th, you have the off-white special edition Nike, the 10 collection. Um, oh, that's Monday. Okay, cool. Thursday, <laughs> September 21st. Um, okay, what? Oh, you know why? Because the uh, off-white is coming out at multiple times in multiple locations. But I didn't put the locations on them. So they come out tomorrow and also come out Thursday. So just heads up for that. Um, so Thursday, September 21st, you have the Nike Air Max 1 OG, White University Red. You have the Undefeated Special Edition Nike Air Max 97, Black. That's the global release of that. Uh, you also have a restock of the Nike Women's Air Max 97 Ultra Swarovski. Uh, the Nike Flyknit Trainer Series Blue. You have a bunch of colorways of the Adidas Ultra Boost All-Terrain. You have the dark burgundy, gray, core black, black, <laughs> khaki, and then the green knight. And then you have two women colorways of the same shoe as the mystery ruby and the core black. Friday, September 22nd, you have the United Arrows and Sons with Slam Jam. Special edition, Adidas, Adidas Consortium Sneaker Exchange Collection. That will be sold exclusively at United Arrows and Sons and at Slam Jam. And then you have the INTI Special Edition Nike Cortez Nylon uh, Latino Heritage Month One Heart. And then Saturday, September 23rd, you have the Air Jordan Retro 11 Low IE Gym Red. Uh, I get those shoes three Rihannas. I'm not that pressed with all of them. And I'm being generous with the three Rihannas, by the way. I don't like little Tyler Cortez that much. Um, the Air Jordan Retro 6 GS Low Sunblush. The Air Jordan 32 Rosa Corsa. Those are definitely four Rihannas right there. The Goodwill Out Special Edition Adidas NMD City Sock Trail, whatever that name is. That's the global release. Uh, and then you also Damn. have the Nike Hyper Adapt 1.0 Red Lagoon. That will be sold exclusively in Japan at Nike. I'm going to let you pronounce these because I'm, I'm, I'm Harajuku? Correct. Hey. Yeah. Harajuku. Uh, Harajuku. Nike Lab MA5 and at the DSM China. You also have the Nike Air Mo Up Tempo NYX. The Overkill and Fruition Special Edition Adidas Consortium Women's Sneaker Exchange Collection. And then you have the Nike Women's Airmore Uptempo Barely Green. Uh, there's a bunch of shoes that are coming out that have no set release day. I'm trying to look at the relevant ones right here. You got the Adidas Ultra Boost X ATR Mystery Ruby, the A6 Tiger Gel Diablo White, Black, and Tan Gray. Those are two different shoes. Uh, I'm looking through it. Shoes no, that matter. No. Nike Air Force One Low Chinese New Year. Those are dope. Uh, the Nike Air Force One Forces Female Pack. The Nike Air Force One Statement Game Pack. Mm, the Nike Air Vapor Max Sprite. 
Nike Air Max CB4 low, wow. light bone. Uh, the Nike Air Max 97 Ultra 17, metallic gold. The Stash Special Edition Nike Air Zoom Spiridon. The- I'm excited about that one. Yeah, yeah, actually, that's the blue one, right? Yeah, yeah. and that's coming off of uh, Stash saying that he'll never work with Nike again, so that's oh, really wow. exciting. Yeah. Uh, the Kith Special Edition Nike Sport Collection, the Nike Kobe AD Mid Baseline, the Nike Kyrie 4, the Nike LeBron 15s, and the Air Jordan Retro 1 High Fly Knit Wolf Gray. That shoe is two Rihannas at most. Uh, there are a number of shoes releasing over si- <laughs> releasing overseas with no set release date for here in the states, such as the Adidas Original Tubular X 2.0 Prime Knit Gray. Stay tuned to SneakerBuddyDetroit.com for more sneaker news and release dates. That's and you always say not my favorite oh, card. My I gotta favorite. wait for you oh, to I'm say so, that. I'm sorry. I was, gotta queue them up. I know. I just thought eye contact would be. Am I not your favorite anymore? You are my favorite. I'm, I'm sorry. I apologize. I humbly apologize. Favorite part of the show. Yes. Yes, it is. And why wouldn't it be? That's my question. So this is the uh, Sneaker Box Podcast. Lady Sneakerheads of the Week. Brought to you by... Kick it with D... What? What? You changed it up on me. Oh, I know. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had Perf- to give them credit, prepping though. all the other stuff and... I, already. I had to I had to give them credit. Well, it's brought to you by at Chick with with Heat. Chicks with Heat. My bad, I forgot the S. Oh, yeah, so it's my fault that I uh, mispronounced oh, it. That's two. I get two whistles. <laughs> she gone. She she need to give you the business for that. Well, let me start this over. Yes, sir. This is the Sneaker Box Podcast, Lady Sneakerheads of the Week, brought to you by at Chicks with Heat on where would that be? On Instagram. Thank you. This is all new oh, no, Francis is just staring at the list. I was, this is all <laughs> <music>. intensely. <laughs> I knew that when I hadn't even been on the show. Mm-hmm. Wow. I mean, I know where to find Kick with Didi. This is new to me. Yeah, it's in, like new breadcrumbs you got to leave. Wow. <laughs> so I got to give some shouts. I got to. Curveball Caesar. Yeah, he was keeping us on our toes. Oh, no faking it here. She's the real Tahiri. Got to send a little love. And I do love her hair. Oh my. She's my Mac truck. She's Kiki Mac 650. My Florida girl. Glad you beat Irma. Gotta send a shout to Soul Talkin. That's um, a dope name. Soul Talkin. It is. Yeah. That is. And uh, my fragrant little flower. I gotta send her some love to. Ashley Blooms. Ashley, what? Blossoms. See, it's funny. He can read all these Asian and Japanese names. It's yeah. pronounced Gordon. The simple spelling of Blossom. It's her middle name. That's I had to get it oh. in there. That's why. That's a nice recovery. Yeah, you know, we're on a first name basis, so I can call her Blooms. <laughs> you call her Blossoms. Miss Blossoms. And she's Puerto Rican. Ooh, yes, sir. She's got that little, little heat to her, huh? Don't get in a fight with her, because she'll kick you behind. Uh, gotta give a little love to uh, my sweet Tennessee girl, Nikki Sneaks. I can't forget, um, well, you know, she loves her pink champagne and cake. She's Nike Jackie. Not to be confused with Nikki Sneaks with a Z. Now, she may not be interested, but I am. It's Izzy 10. With two Z's and three Y's and a whole lot of me. <laughs> and I'm going to add one more, one more shout to this. i got to give a shout to Brandy Devers. I promised to pick her up in my new uh, Audi R8. When she finishes my new bespoke sneaks. Hey. Oh, she's a darling. She's my girl from the Bahamas. She's not from the Bahamas. She's from here. But uh, we go way back. And... And believe it or not, her mom and dad like me. Hey. How about that? There you go. Progress. Uh, yes. So those are uh, this week's Sneaker Box Podcast Lady Sneakerheads of the Week. Brought to you by at Chicks with Heat on Instagram. Yay. And uh, next week, 
We'll be in Atlanta. We'll be in ATL. ATL. Most, ATL, most yes. of you guys. Yep. Come holler at us, man. Most definitely. We. I can't wait. It seems like everybody goes to Atlanta. It's like the mecca of like sneaker con. Not like, me. There's New York and there's LA, but there's no Atlanta. Well, it's central to the U.S. I mean, yeah. it's easy to get to. They got the big airport. They got uh, some great strip joints, let me tell you. Yeah. I've uh, been doing some research. I wanted to let you know that. And um, I'm bummed out. I'll be missing it. What? Yeah, I'm not going to be there. I have to go solo? Yep, sorry. Oh, yep, yep, yep. So yeah, sad. So I'm, looking for, I'm, 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 I'm so looking for, because the last time we went, we drove like some dumbasses and took this like you all drove, day. Fr- like, yeah, I know. You we, drove like dumbasses? No, it took us like all day Friday to get down Terrible. there. We had Saturday, and then we had to drive all day Sunday to get back. So, no, nah, that's silly. N- yeah, what time you silly. leave in the morning? What time you? My get flight there? lands in Atlanta at like eight. Okay, that's cool because we land about nine thirty. Yeah, Sasha had a car and everything. <laughs> that's if you get there on time. <laughs> I'm making it. I've been good. I've been good. <laughs> you have been good the last couple. Of weeks. Man, you, man, you barely. Know. You was the last one on, man. The last Yo, one. Stop lying, <laughs> man. Make education was. Make education was. Bro, education was. They was closing the door ten steps on the plane, man. Man, oh my god. Because <laughs> I asked, I asked MJ, I said, "Is Guru gonna make it?" I said, "I don't think he may. Here he come." They was closing the door. He was. Oh, just going to LA. LA. Yeah, he just skated on. <laughs> nah, this was, the uh, be cutting it close. Yeah, that was LA. Yeah. yeah, he be cutting it close. Yeah, man. No, I took a, uh, I took a, uh, I took Thursday off. I took Monday off and Thursday. You got to take the day. You got to take the day before days, off. Days, I know. Man, you <laughs> better, you <laughs> better, you, you <laughs> better come stay at the crib because I'm there. I, I know. I, was, I don't know why you ever taking that offer up. Monday, Thursday. I'm swinging by there. That's what I would do. I don't be playing. I get there because I know they're gonna try to strip search me. And I, I already <laughs> tell them I got a prosthetic <laughs> knee. I'm ready. ready. I ordered new duffel bags. I ordered a backpack where you can charge your phone in it. Did oh, you get that shoe bag that we were talking about? Oh, in shoot. Atlanta? They didn't, wouldn't make it in time. I mean, in, in Cali. Uh, uh, hopefully, they got something there at that sneaker con, but it wouldn't yeah. make it in time. So you I guys I enjoy it. Yeah, I'm going to try to buy one yes. there. Yeah. Oh, speaking of which, too, the house was staying at, I told you before the show, the house was staying at was on uh, Flipper Flop Atlanta. So I was watching. I'm going to send you the link after the. Uh, That's Flipper Flop Atlanta? It was like on HDTV. Yeah, it's, oh, it's a TV show. Isn't like, it one of those strip joints? Oh, yeah. yeah, they no. fixed it up. Flip or flop Atlanta? Yeah, that's like, another one. we flip it or, or is it a flop? But they fixed okay, it. Yeah, that's yeah. dope. Yeah, I'm a, it I was, watched And it. I got so my camera, so we're going to record. So it's kind of cool seeing how it used to look. And I mean, it looks totally different. It doesn't look the same at all. Y'all lucky ain't no in and out down And the neighborhood is the bar. Thank God. And I got my camera to buy KFC so we can see some. So now we don't have to waste time on the floor. And we don't need no recap episodes because we got live footage. Footage don't lie. Exactly, yes. Yeah, that's right. Have and and make sure Caesar don't uh, almost cause an accident on the freeway. Yeah, yeah, y'all gonna see how he looks at his GPS when he drives. <laughs> Not the road, but the GPS though. <laughs> Driving Boy, while blind. Look, <laughs> you can't record if you ain't there on time. But no, we. Uh, <laughs> I am. <laughs> I'll be late to save my life. <laughs> I'll be late to save my life. He be coming on the plane, <laughs> vlogging himself. Right. <laughs> I made uh, it. So I'm just not getting here. It's like Friday night. Like, <laughs> nah, I don't need it. <laughs> it's dark outside. Um, but no, nah, like we should have some fun, man. Everybody's gonna be there. Of course, uh, our sister show, the Monday Mid Soul, is gonna be down there. We're supposed to be doing like a crossover show with them. We do it anyway. We yeah, we like end up having a crossover show unofficially. Talking kicks gonna yes. be there. OG sneakers, uh, OG sneakers and, uh, and Beer Jedi his crew and yep. Yeah. So check out the Monday Mid Soul. Uh, on Mondays, 8 p.m. on the YouTube channel, also named the Monday Mid. So, uh, talking kicks. Uh, some of the people that okay. moved on from Soul Food Sneaker Show, um, they have created talking kicks, and I believe their first show is September. It's on a Wednesday after, yeah, after Sneaker Wednesday after So the win- okay, so the Wednesday, not this Wednesday coming up, but the following Wednesday, it'll also be at 8 o'clock p.m. Yes, Eastern sir. Standard Time. Yes, also, our fam. Uh, sneaker files. I be, I, don't, I think they go on Wednesdays too. Like everybody's going on Wednesdays now. Mm-hmm. Um, but I can't remember. I, I know I need to call. I need to do a better job of getting this information. But yeah, he uh, was check on the them chat out. Earlier. Yeah, is gone. A wall coming? Have, have you heard? I haven't mm-hmm. heard you. Yeah, I so wish check Skip them out. was there. I want to see Skip fall down I know, the stairs. Oh, I know. I, I might just wax the stairs on purpose, <laughs> just to make it extra dangerous for him. Um, also, to the he hoarders. Matter of <laughs> fact, Drake. Yeah, yeah, Drake. <laughs> Drake's gonna be out there, so 
And they always show us love. Anytime we in California, man, man them dudes yeah. show us love. No doubt. Bay Area got so all them dudes. Mall. Yeah. Oh, um, make sure, Guru, make sure you bring a pair of shoes that they can take back to the bay to drop off. Oh, yeah, they got to throw a, shoe, yeah, a pair of shoes in the bay yeah. easily. And I want to yeah. see video of it, too. <laughs> Not your little man's. I know. Right. He's, I know his son's. I know. <laughs> you said a shoes. pair of shoes. <laughs> He's going to try to get off on the technicality. Uh, so, yeah, check out all those different shows. Yeah. Um, and remember to use Crip Protect, the official partners of the Sneaker Boss podcast, to clean and protect your shoes from anything life or nature throws at it. Get the most out of your sneakers. Practice safe stunt and go to CrepProtect.com and get your shoes some protection. Remember, CrepProtect is the only sneaker brand that protects you from head to toe. Um, so anyway. JB, you going to um, blow the whistle for me when you're, when you're out there? Oh, you know that. Hey, I got to blow the whistle on him. No in and out burger, but we'll go to Varsity. The Varsity is like, it's the. the is it like in and out It's That's the poop. It's I, the I heard there was a, there's, it. A, there's a place called The Vortex. Is oh, that any good? Man. Then we can we can compare that to KFC. Why right? are we going? Uh, you know, their fries, I think, are wedges. Why are we too? going to yeah, in and out yeah. related restaurants? Like, I really. Oh, there he goes. See? There he go. You got to hit that Waffle House. I got house. you. Oh, we got definitely got to go to the Waffle House. Like, I got you, JB. Boy, that's, that's One of my first that's stops. That's a given. Because I ain't going to be there. I'm going to hit up Taco Bell where I'm going for you. Oh, I'm going to hit up Taco Bell, too. Yeah. You know, I'm surprised. We haven't yet to hit a Taco Bell. We did barbecue the, the taco night? truck, though. Huh? Barbecue on Saturday night or something like that? Which, which Whatever night y'all want to do it. Because everybody, okay, I real quick. We always talk about barbecue at every place we go. And every time mm-hmm. we waste food, right? So I think the last time we just kind of like, yo, bump that. Now we ain't bumped that. We left the food on yeah, the left, on. Yeah, we left the counter. We <laughs> yeah, had some wings. But we ain't buy as we like Florida was ridiculous. We had a garbage bag full of food. But we had people over though that came. Bro. Yeah, but this time people are actually talking about because the venue the house is ten minutes away from the venue. And everybody's talking about coming through. So but, I but feel you, very safe in my assumption. <laughs> you did eat the wings that I did, man. Yeah. He was eating the wings, throwing the bones. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, got the, <laughs> he throwing the bones know, on, the, the, on the freeway getting birds killed. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, and, you know, and, and he threw him over that little balcony, too, at the house. <laughs> you know, oh, I, I, I heard Yogi Bear. Hey, boo-boo. <laughs> it's that chicken wings. Yeah. He's eating chicken wings. I had some bears sitting there <laughs> knocking on the window. Oh, man. And no, Gru was sleeping down there, too. <laughs> <laughs> I should have. Next time I know, next if we ever be at that cabin again, I'm purposely just going to. Man, you better not rent that <laughs> cabin again. Two hour drive. And you better not even think about that one no more. <laughs> there ain't I'll, no choice. I'll pay yeah, myself I'll white for I stay, stay at that cabin again. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? You say you look like my man from Get Out was running to the door? Yes, that's what it looked like. <laughs> that was the same pathway. Oh, my God. All right, so we having too much fun. We about to get out of here. Uh, but check us out in Atlanta if you are down there in the area. If not, catch us. Live again on YouTube the following week. Uh, we'll be back 11 o'clock EST. If anybody's in Guatemala, they can say what up to me. Yes. Sorry, right, we're going to leave y'all with Jumpman's word of the day. Morning word. Never. Wow. He got me today. Whoa. Uh-oh. He was ready. He was like, never. Yeah, I know, I know. And everything. Just go, just I go to your... You threw me out blowing the whistle. Go to your uh, go-to one. Respect yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Morning word. Never let yourself be discredited by others. Always be positive and know your self-worth. Yep. And never let anybody bring you down. Hey. That's one off the top. Seriously. Let that marinate. All right. So that was the word of the week. I am African Caesar. Here's your man, Boston. Guru. Yes, Francis. Sir. Yes, sir. All right, we'll see you guys next week or the week after. (laughs) Whenever. Peace. Peace. We're on a ghost plane? (laughs) Awesome.